the best to you from Kmart Radio. KMRT. Take me down to Butthole City, let me munch that box, let me slap them titties. Oh, won't you please get that hole, yay, yay. Live from the Streamline Mortgage Solution Studio, it's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Whoopee! Hello, this is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. Oh, I have to fix the camera. Hey, everybody. It is another A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha, our producer here. Hello, Sam. Hello. Oh, your mic's not hot enough. Wow. Let's fix that. Trying to silence the woman on the show. No, no, never. Never. Would never do that. Um, and then <laughs> also, sitting on the couch, ladies and gentlemen, let me fix his camera. <laughs> on the news with the only hair that matters, Ross McCoy. Uh, hey, guys. How's it going, Ross? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, Check out Tots with Ross, the Orlando talk show with Ross McCoy. I was listening on the Spotify this morning, and you can as well. Real quick, we're doing a live podcast right before the hurricane party uh, in Sanford this year. Mm -hmm. um, we've done it before in the past. We thought we'd bring it back. Um, tickets are on the BDM page. Tony made a post. Yep. Um, we're offering it to BDMs first, but uh, we'll open it up. But basically, um, you know, you'll get your general admission to the genital hurricane. admission. <laughs> general <laughs> admission. <laughs> to you gotta show your genitals to get in. Yes, this but only to Tony. Only to Tony. <laughs> you guys should do a party that's genitals only, just like a <laughs> fence around a, a, a field, and everybody just pokes <laughs> their genitals. I think we've Ross, come close to that, that before. Yeah. Like, like, uh, yeah. Grass warehouse. I yeah. popka. Yes, <laughs> sure. I have been trying to work out the idea of oh uh, BDM Infinity for a while now. I still and, don't uh, know where this goes because it's, yeah. it's changed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. BDM Infinity has changed so many times. Like It gets sicker and sicker by the minute. Well, it, it's the true cult, and we actually do mock sacrifices and uh, oh. and then maybe oh a live sex show, but not real. Like, it's a mock. <laughs> what do you mean not real? <laughs> you know, I, mean, you I don't know. You just said real sex show, but not real. I mean, No, I mean, it's like a- Just dry humping. It, yeah, it's like some art. Artistic expression of what is, our, what, is, what, is our, what is your Tom Van? What is your artistic expression of sex? Well, I mean, you know, there's the like an actor, an actress, and they're like, uh, you know, uh, basically like. Old why don't you just skinamax. say they're having sex? What, no, because I can't. I we can't. I don't know. That'd be way too much money. I feel. What um, you're talking about, Tom, in the olden days was called a mystery cult. And like uh, what they would do back in ancient Greece is like you'd all get together, you know, you'd say, okay, so we're going to sign up for the Elysian mystery or whatever, right? Uh, we all get together as a group, you fast, you like purify yourself, you dress up, you go out into the wilderness, right? And there's a whole setup where they do a sacrifice, there's a sex show, like a god appears and says, whoa. I pronounce you all now initiates of the Elysian mystery. Yes. And it's all about shared experience. Yes. And yeah, so yeah. then you all, you're all the, the brotherhood or sisterhood, Sam, of uh, you're all the part of this shared experience so you have something in common it's the exact same thing as like hazing in a frat now okay yeah, yeah, yeah. you know it's That's like we all, we all we all got way better than hazing in a frat i had to <laughs> eat some butthole grape and some guy's punching my face i'd rather have had the sex <laughs> show and the god appears and we're all now yeah, a doctorate yeah. that's what five beta kappa is like distilled it down to you know like we all got paddled on the right. way in so yeah. we all have this shared it's experience a brotherhood, yeah 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 or it's like you watch a crime like in yellowstone yeah. yes you all then, watch you know, a we're crime. back to yellowstone references <laughs> yeah. oh yeah i was hoping we were getting away <laughs> 
thought we were off. Where those. are we at with Yellowstone now? Because oh, I can, yeah. oh my God, the old Yellowstone snort. That's how you know you're in for a banger. <laughs> What's weird is that Yellowstone with you burned so hot. I mean, every day you were every mentioning day. it, and then it was no. like, and then it was like it's no more Yellowstone. What ended? <laughs> you know, well, let's out. hope it did. Because no, every if I, you motherfuckers in your yellow, I'm gonna haven't watched one episode and will not watch it. We'll never watch it. There's titties in it. No, well, well there's I can titties. see titties yeah. anywhere. She's got titties. I, you I, always like I watched Samantha's titties on her TikTok. <laughs> oh, don't talk about it. Why not? <laughs> I was like, for, I came for the uh, team, no kids. I stayed for the titties. Uh, I Good don't for nothing. They're not feeding anybody. <laughs> uh, the Twitch chat is uh, ready to riot because we didn't play Time for Bath before the show. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, are you serious? Oh, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Jeez, they wanted to this is, uh, Before we get too far, it's probably a good time to remind you guys that this is part of Poro Appreciation Weekend. Yeah, uh, right. weekend. Uh, it is. Uh, there's no extra content. Weekend uh, at Poros. No discount merch. Uh, no <laughs> special event. You guys just get the fucking Friday free show with a repeat guest like you deserve. <laughs> yes, and said well. That was perfectly uh, said. Thank you. Well, speaking the right of amount of force to that appreciation. They week. only respect force. <laughs> Now we may have spent too much money on what? We, we definitely spent and we may on what? Have what do we do now? I thought we were done with all the things. <laughs> well, no, no. Oh, this is the recap. I'm just saying. Well, you know the shirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if like so, we may have that shirt thing's all fucked up. Oh, yeah. you know, there are too many shirts. We pissed off a bunch, a bunch. Yeah, of people. you pissed off Merchman. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. that poor man, is he alive? Has yeah. anybody talked to Eric? Yeah, I yeah, have yeah. Not. Eric is stressed beyond yeah. belief. Um, we you sent both of the switches to the Ukraine by accident. Yeah, we did. I know we. We, but they're using them to take down planes, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like very technically, technologically We've lost advanced. BDMs. <laughs> uh, since we're yeah. Yeah. Since lot. But free tamales. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, tamales and moss. Yeah, yeah. tamales and moss. Uh, yeah. Jesse came by and Delicious. brought us some like appreciation tamales, and boy, do those taste good. Yeah, yeah. So all BDM in all, BDM appreciation week cost you BDMs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that is lot. awesome. Well, that I is like, I, I didn't see sixty to eighty <laughs> somewhere. We're still fleshing it out. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was like literally the last. I was like, well, this won't cause us to lose. Okay. How they, could that happen? <laughs> Ross, basically, what we did is it would be what we did would be as if Planet Fitness had one person that just got on a line and then called everybody that forgot they had Planet Fitness and said, hey, <laughs> where are we at on this? And then they're like, oh, shit, cancel. Like, so that's what we did. We did the old Planet hey, Fitness dial them up. We, we've checked the surveillance cameras, and yeah. you haven't been here in months. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why are you paying for this? We just want to remind you, it's Pizza Wednesday at Planet Fitness. Planet what? Yeah, I can buy my own <laughs> like, Oh, rolls. shit, I'm so paying. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, oh, back to the. But those live tamales podcast. made it all better. They, they did. They, they really did. did. It's They're like delicious. all this shit was happening. I had a tamale. Ross is here. Ross had a tamale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got an awesome shirt he's wearing the weekend. Uh, Tom's yeah. talking to Jesse about moving to Panama. Yeah, no, oh, we, yeah, yeah. we changed our life. Tamales have changed your life. Really? Tamales and moss. Is that banana leaves is wrapped? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, oh, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. He, you gotta do it. Knows. You gotta do it the right way to cool. get the right taste. Tamales and moss. Get yourself some t uh, tamales, please. We need a small beach house in like Central uh, America. We need to I sell know. the uh, Sanford house. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we don't even own that one. <laughs> well, we, gotta, we, gotta, we can't just keep acc accumulating no. messes across the globe. We, it's just, That's it, what I want. That's what the global, Scientology does. <laughs> it is what Scientology does. <laughs> and like, if but I, I have a anything. Navy. We need a Navy. <laughs> Let's Let's start with that. a Navy. We've got my boat, Seth's boat. Your boat's broken. <laughs> and after uh, the amount of arguments you've Seth been having. Seth doesn't have a boat anymore. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, Seth yeah, yeah, sold his right. boat, <laughs> and your boat is per currently being used by apparently every boat mechanic <laughs> in Florida is butt-fucking their wife on your boat. How does that feel? Oh, oh man. Um, Where are we at with your boat? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, it's a sore it subject. Real. It got real. Yeah, I have subject. to go pick it up, bring it back, and <laughs> the whole motor's apart. And they're going to stand there with their arms crossed while you pick it up, too. You know that move where you're you're hooking everything up, and they're standing there with their arms crossed looking at you the whole time, smoking cigarettes, staring at you, whispering? Yeah. What is going on right now? I had a, my washer took a shit, and I had a guy come fix my washer. He's like, all right, uh, I took it apart. He found the broken part. Yeah. He's like, all right, I'm going to go back to the warehouse, check on a price for this. I'll let you know. And uh, like two days later, I called him. He's like can't find the part i'm just, uh you know what I we're gonna waive the, <laughs> yes. we're gonna waive the service fee 
just uh, have fun with your disassembled fucking washer. <laughs> that's a thing now, yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, yeah that's a thing now. Uh, it's too, uh, it's too hard. I like yeah. that guy. He was like, it's, Can't it's find like, it. oh, it's too yeah. hard. We had, had a guy, pass, hard pass. <laughs> we had a guy do that with our security system, like where he came and he's like, oh yeah, this is totally doable. Easiest thing I've ever done. And then he took everything apart and then he told Andrew, he's like, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> <laughs> and then he left. And then he oh, left. I, I and did that. And then Andrew told me that. Well, how do you think that was received in, to, to Dan? I'm just like Junior Ross when it comes to anger you know like i went i got real <laughs> mad and she's like no no i'll handle it but yeah it is like a new thing now i i did that with your uh, lawnmower one time you did? <laughs> like, no, was no, no, no the best thing that he did with my lawnmower <laughs> is he disassembled it and then he said all we gotta do is spray some of this carb cleaner <laughs> in your carb and then you use a long <laughs> barbecue lighter to light it on fire and that'll burn out all the crud and i'm like <laughs> All right. I mean, I guess that's uh, <laughs> just so. I we, made that up. So we have all <laughs> these. We have all these parts laying everywhere, and the lawnmower sitting there, and and so I take the carb cleaner, and he, and oh, you had the carb cleaner, and he's spraying it in there, good. Shh, and he's like, all right, light it, go, and then it blows up, and then we try it, it's completely broken. <laughs> we just blew up my lawnmower. Well, speaking of confrontation, uh, and my boat, uh, I am horrible at any sort of confrontation. Oh, let me call him. No, no. <laughs> let, let Ross not, call him. Let yeah. Ross call him. Like torch marks. We're gonna have to charge. For that. And I'm like, oh, no, hold on. Christmas. <laughs> we can do Christmas in April if you'll just let Ross call them. <laughs> no, I, yes. well, no, because then I have to go and see the Ross people. Ross and me calling them at the same time. <laughs> that dude. So, Ross, tell me about your uh, confrontation of the week <laughs> because <laughs> I am fascinated with someone that could uh, just easily get into multiple confrontations. Do I need to make an intro for thing? this? I would be honored to make an intro for this. Uh, what happened uh, recently? Uh, well, well, I got a couple of good ones for you, but I'll start with the laundromat since we already <laughs> set that up with my washing machine's broken, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> and this fucking part, I don't know, the fucking boat that sank on the way from Korea or whatever, that's where the part was. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can find my washing machine. So um, I've been going to laundromats. Yeah. And uh, there's, what a nightmare. there's one real close to my house, but it's small, it's uh. tiny, and every once in a while I drive by it and it's just jammed and I don't want to deal with it. There's another one that's like a little bit further away, but way bigger. And so it's about, actually it kind of factors in the frontage of this laundromat. It's so big, it's about a half a city block. Okay. okay. All right. The, the long ones. Long okay. front. Long front to it. Two doors. One in the middle, one kind of towards the south end. And what I usually do is I park my van right by the door at the south end. And then that door gives you access to like the big washers and the big dryers. You're right there. And I do my whole family's load in like a in like a quadruple two quadruple loaders and then right to the dryers. I'm right there and right out the door to my van. It's fucking perfect, right? I commend you for your thoughtful parking. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea does that where if you got something to do, you gotta get here to get in this way to act to access this. That's smart. Do people, a system. Do yeah. people leave their clothes at the laundromat? Because I remember when I, I so like Yeah, they got a drop off service too. Both of these places have drop off service and yeah. it's like it's like it's big business n- right now. No, man. no, like, laundry's no joke right now. I am not saying because my wife does the wash dry and fold thing which uh the is the oh man you got that Rich. i want that i want fuck? that oh man andrea's yeah. so cheap she would never let me order that that's that good good where everything every t-shirt looks like it came out of the gap and it's got lines on it yeah yeah i tell her to do it all the time uh but she oh, want she's like no i'll do it myself and then i'm like all right and then it piles <laughs> up and i have no clothes i'm wearing uh, wait so you're working the system <laughs> and then finally she's like i can't take it i'm taking it to the wash and dryer. you're like yes and then she takes it, and then she uh, all the folded laundry comes in garbage bags, and then that just uh, either gets put on the couch or whatever, and then slowly so just you falls. live out of a garbage bag. <laughs> yes, and then yeah, it falls over hilarious. into Rich one trash giant pile. Yeah. And yeah. uh, and then I'm like, oh, there it is. I'll spend a bunch of money for nothing. Leave it in the trash. Put it back in the trash bag when you's done wearing it. But <laughs> Ross, I mean, do you leave? Like, if you're doing it yourself, do you put it in the washer and just leave? Go do other errands and then come back. I see people do that, but um, a, I don't want people stealing my shit, and b, like, I get distracted easily. I probably like forget about four washers worth of clothes. So <laughs> no, I just I hang out. I, you know, I I put on a podcast and I just watch it. It's fun. It's kind of like <laughs> these like the suds come up. We watch all the dirt rinse out. It's it's uh, it's zen. Andrea is in her Twitch chat room, twitch.tv slash Tom and Dan Live. That's my wife. She said, "Did you know there's a thing called Sud Share now, 
What is Sud Share? Oh, it's like, like Airbnb for laundry. Uh, oh, we have a we have a uh, we have a washer dryer at our Airbnb. Let's make put it on there too. <laughs> too, too be small. making money crazy. It's uh, yeah. They uh, come in here, wash your panties. You let other people like you leave a bag of laundry, and other people bid to go like wash it and fold it, and then drop it back off at your house, oh. like your neighbors or something. <laughs> if they want to make an extra uh, fifty bucks, so it's whatever. only a dollar a pound. Yeah, yeah, it's not that expensive. That seems pretty cheap you know laundry weighs a fuck load though like, <laughs> yeah. these, like my well, load have, of laundry i'd be paying people. 200 goddamn bucks to get my laundry done <laughs> yeah you have five people yeah. yeah i mean that's a lot or four yeah i mean it's like you're gonna have a decent amount of 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 yeah. like with me you can't wash like their jean jackets anything heavy <laughs> you, you know can't mine saying? mine you can i have time all of mine <laughs> any clothing that you think for me it would be like izzy's jean jacket you know, <laughs> oh, Ralphie yeah. May's pants. <laughs> you know, you're not going to want right. to do those. But me, yeah. I kind of feel like I get a pass for anything I want to watch. I'll wash two pairs of my jeans together, equal <laughs> one normal size sweatshirt. <laughs> it's doll clothes. Yeah, it is like doll clothes. Uh, American girl. So where's the confrontation? Rose? So I'm parked at the south door. Okay. This is his workflow, Tom. Mm. It's uh, It's been a, li- this, it's a little bit later at night. So I've gone on Google. I've checked the time for last load. Which uh, they close at eight thirty. According, <laughs> according to Google, they close at eight thirty, and it's like it's like seven thirty. I'm like, great, I got. Or, I had plenty of time. I had plenty of time to get my clothes in, wash them, dry them. They hadn't they even started playing closing time Not over even. the PA system. <laughs> yeah. They haven't even gotten into like B side semi song. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> the fact that you know the name of the band, <laughs> Mega Points. So, uh, wash my clothes. Uh, get them in the dryer, and like I said, I wash them, wash everyone. I'd like this, I'll step outside and just you know get on my fucking phone for a minute. I'll like see what time th- the wash takes. I'll step outside for a minute. So I, I wash my clothes, get them in the dryer. Uh, they're drying. I step outside through the south door of this laundromat, and I'm, I'm <laughs> just on the corner of the laundromat, fucking on around on Twitter, Facebook, or whatever for a minute. Uh-huh. And I'm, I look at my watch. I'm like, okay, they got like two minutes left. I'll just go in there, be there when the buzzer goes off. Go to the door, and the door's locked. Oh, Christ, and bike. <laughs> <laughs> so they walked oh, in. The, you, they saw you standing outside. Of, and right? what time was it at this point? At this point, it um, it has just turned eight o'clock. So you should have thirty minutes. Yeah. Uh, mm. By my estimation, at this current time, yes, I should have at least thirty minutes time on that door, as uh-huh. far as I'm concerned. So I go like up the fucking block mm. through the other door, and uh, and I go in, and I I go to my laundry, and I just wait for my laundry to finish. Mm-hmm. I load it into baskets. Are you stewing at this point? Are you what do you think? I think he's stewing right now. Do you see? Like he's like. Did you notice his cadence slowed down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything hyper focused. <laughs> I was right there with you. I was getting fucking mad. I'll I'll tell you this. At this point, I've made up my mind what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, I know. No. I know what's about to happen. It's like when an arsonist decides. <laughs> Premeditated. Yeah. I, I have. I have pinned the red string to the wall and connected <laughs> yeah. the dots, okay. and it's all, Bingo bongo. <laughs> it's, all about, it's all about to go down according to my plan. Uh, so, so you're, be, but you want to get all your clothes out first before. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, the rule. <laughs> dry the clothes, get them in the baskets. I got like three or four baskets, something like that. I got four baskets actually. I got four baskets. I pick up the first basket. I walk to the south door. My van is maybe 10 feet away from me, uh, separated only by aluminum and glass. Uh-huh. And I unlock it, and I proceed through it, and I load my laundry into my van. Uh, before, I got, a, you know, I got a minivan. Before the door is going beep, 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 and gone all the way up to let me put my laundry in, the lady is screaming at me. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the laundromat, through the door, is like in, like some sort of... I don't know, apparition in the door is like screaming at me about like locking the door. It's eight o'clock. We lock the door at eight and I don't say fucking word to her. I just load my laundry in my van, close it up. I walk back towards the door, locks it. She locks it right on me. She locks it. <laughs> in, <laughs> in your face. face? In your face. Literally in my face. Uh, locks the door. Oh, I hear that. Shit. Now, it, is this a stereotype situation? In it which, happened to uh, me at the uh, Vietnamese jewelry store. The, yeah. the, the yeah, owner... Yeah. Is there can be a cultural breakdown uh, at times? Sure. These are, I believe, hourly employees. Oh, okay. I do okay. not <laughs> yeah. believe this is the owner. So, out. okay. Yeah, oh my no fucks given scenario. So I believe this to be an hourly employee if gotcha. I had to bet my house on it. Hold on, but if it's no fucks given, then you shouldn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Concrete Toad said shit in the washer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He goes hard. <laughs> Like man, he escalates. We can talk about my uh, my thoughts of revenge scenarios after. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think we got so a glimpse of when your face turned red and you started hysterically laughing because so I'm there with you. So I, I walk up the block again to the other door and I go in 
and I walk down the block, uh, you know, a half mile of dryers to her, uh-huh. where she's like yelling at me about like locking the door and we close it and this and that. And I, I just walk up to her. Cause I got to walk past her to get my fucking clothes anyway. So she's screaming at me about locking the door and stuff and don't unlock the door. And I was like, what time do you guys close? She goes, eight, or no, she goes, nine. She goes, we close at nine. I thought 8.30, but nine. Okay, whatever. Uh, nine. And so I don't, even engage, I don't even get into, hey, I'm a paying customer. I'm using this laundromat. I should have right access to the door. What, what the fuck, you know? Yeah, yeah. Don't even get into that. I just point at the door and I point above the door and I go, you got a lit signed exit sign on that door. During hours of operation, it has to remain open by law. And she like blah 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 blahs me, and like oh, she's like she does like the Scooby Doo face blah, shake, blah, like, blah. and then she just starts screaming, "We lock it at eight. I don't care what you think." And I just keep going. That's a lit sign exit door. It's a it's a fire exit, and it must remain open during business hours by law. And she she at this point she goes. She screams to the other guy working, hey, get over here and yell at this guy with get me. Get your gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Shoot this guy yeah, in the chest. Shoot this guy. This is the same guy. <laughs> this, so the guy oh, comes over. But did she say why she locked it? If it's not, it's not even. It's she just keeps repeating the point. We lock it at eight. That's that's her only point. We lock it okay. at eight. We lock it at eight. We lock it at eight. That's all she's got to say. <laughs> right. Don't touch my door. Yeah. Leave it alone. <laughs> we lock it at eight. You should close at eight. <laughs> but you close at nine. Why do you lock the door at eight? That, I didn't even engage on that front. <laughs> okay. I didn't even engage on that front. So the guy comes over and she screams at him to start screaming at me. So he I starts screaming at me. Him, I got my we lock the door at eight, and I'm like, "But you guys close at nine. He's like, "Yes, that is correct." And I go, "Well, that's a lit sign exit door, and yeah, ha- during the hours of operation, it has to remain open, especially here in a laundromat. Like, what, what play? Point to me another business that has a higher risk of catching on fire than a fucking laundromat. I didn't oh. say fucking. I, I, <laughs> You're citing fire. Code. You know what? I gotta say, <laughs> we, we have one brave soul. Where's your in- extinguisher? <laughs> we have one brave soul in the chat room that has a counterpoint. Okay. It says, can't start a washer at nine and stay until 10. Nobody said that, you fucking idiot. I wouldn't have tied that. I wouldn't have tied that. You're brave. I told the, I opened the, maybe you missed the beginning of the story. I checked the hours of operation and I was well with I'm I'm clo- I'm getting out of their place at eight. Right. I'm, I'm unloading my clothes at eight. They close at nine. What's the fucking yeah, problem? You're done. Goddamn imbecile. You're done. <laughs> so the guy starts screaming about we call, we lock the door at eight. I go into the whole the fire door thing and it stops him for a second, but they literally don't care. They just keep shouting at me, we lock it at eight, we lock it at eight, we lock it at eight. <laughs> so I go, One okay. Of us. <laughs> and at that point, I go, great. I'll just walk up the goddamn block and take my clothes out the other door. Thanks. And uh, so I do, and I keep. And uh, th- See, if I were them, I would have run and tried to lock that door. <laughs> I'd be like, stand off. <laughs> you know, like, I try to escalate it more. <laughs> You're trying to at a certain your- point in my head, I'm like, if you guys have this much fucking time, just... Unlock and lock the door for me three fucking times if it's that important. Yeah, stand if, like, by the fucking door. Then, if the yeah. goddamn True. Mongols are on their ponies at the border and like if you don't close at <laughs> eight, they're gonna run in and steal all your fucking quarters. Just unlock and lock it for me, and I'll take my chance with the goddamn Mongols outside the door. What but, I- what is it with people? Do they want the confrontation? Do they rules, want? And no, it's rules are rules. They, they yeah. want to save their own ass. But if like, don't you want the least amount of work? <laughs> like, well, I, the I, least like, amount what of work though for? is to tell him rules are rules and walk away, right? No, well, the least amount of work is to do nothing and let Ross unload his shit and then go back and lock it after instead of getting. You know what I'm saying? Like, who gives a shit? Yeah. It 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 did take a lot of time that to the point where I was like, why don't you just unlock and lock the door for me? Like, it would be <laughs> so much easier for you if this is the case. Or just like, okay, you lock it at eight every day, and then you're sitting there, and then you see a Ross, he goes there, he's like confused, he unlocks it, he's lo- unloading his shit, just sit there and watch him, and then every day he leaves, then walk back up and... <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right, right, right. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> it is I don't get it. so much easier, but yeah. <laughs> but what is the motivation? It, because if it's not the owner, has something bad who, happened why do they there? Care? And is it a? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like yeah. a security Who's issue? robbing a, a fucking laundromat? You'd have to break into the machines to get the the coins. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't and know. By the way, you're hammering it with a fucking sledgehammer. This door is the least accessible door to the money at all. Right. This is the furthest door. <laughs> yeah. The other door is so yeah. much closer. It's to the not money. the main door. No. Yeah, yeah. So it's like there's it. There makes no sense. It, 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 people like. Maybe it's like the laundromat version of well, Ross that wants a conversation. <laughs> the, the, well, uh, there's a difference, I think, between employees that, okay, like I'm the type of employee naturally where if we all had a business, like this business, right? Yeah. Let's say this is a retail shop and I was selling stuff and we all left and I was going to lock up for the night. And if we closed at nine, I have always had a problem with we close at nine, so I'm going to start locking up at 845. Yeah. I've always had a problem with that. The 
you need to decide as a business owner, okay, if you're going to want to start closing at 845, then you tell people you close at 845 because that's when you're closing down, right? I hate, like, remember that five guys, that black tooth motherfucker? That's what he was doing to me. I knew that you would tell the story and it would infuriate me with my own story because I'm too narcissistic and selfish to not make it about me. And that black tooth motherfucker and five guys, I walked in there and I said, hey, I'd like to get a hamburger. And I had 30 minutes and he's like, ah, we're closing. You motherfucker, you're not closing. You're not. You had 30 minutes to make me a hamburger. When I used to work at the and sub brush shop. brush your fucking teeth. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> You're gross. <laughs> it's it's a game you play as an employee where it's the end of the night. It's like a Thursday or something. It's not like a weekend where it's always going to be packed up until close. So it's like, the, it's like a Thursday night and you close at nine and there's nobody in the parking lot and you're like, fuck it. Let's take a gamble and start cleaning up early. We'll put the, uh, the cellophane Never over all, take the, a gamble. all the uh, crocs of uh, pickles and shit and like, you know, start cl- cleaning up the salad bar and, yeah. you know, like, and just gamble that no one else is going to come and then we can leave early. And then you start doing that and then uh, someone pulls up five minutes before close and you're like, fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then the, and the already, that's the way it goes. You already dumped the meatballs in the slop bucket. <laughs> and, and, and there's a way around they want too. Meatballs like, up. Yeah. I've seen and people get it out of the slop I've bucket. seen people manage that correctly. <laughs> like the correct way to in my opinion, the correct way to manage that, and I've seen people do this, is if you close at nine, somebody walks in at eight fifty eight, you allow them to come in and order and everybody stays on until nine. At nine, as those people are eating, you walk over and you lock the door, yeah. not letting anybody else in, but yeah. you allow those people yeah. to finish their meal. Universal, like working at uh, Jurassic Park, right? You, you, if, you, if you get in line, at by, like line closes at nine, you get in line at 8.59, you're good. You get in line at nine, you're good. We close the line, we process that whole line. Right. Yeah, Everybody yeah, gets yeah. to right. ride the fucking ride. It, it, you can't get in line after nine, but right. if you got in line before, you get to ride. Right. Nobody Agreed. gives a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> like, no. Yeah, especially no. now, and, like, you're an employee to a company, you're like, fuck this place, and fuck this job. <laughs> and like, I can get any job, everybody's hiring, so I'm not doing shit. Oh, it's true. Customer service is dead. <laughs> yeah, 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 is yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah. We killed it, too. Mm. Well, it was our own fault. Now, yeah. do you guys ever have really good customer service? And pointed out, I had to do this last night with Maisie at La Fiesta. She loves La Fiesta. She's fa- working there now? I w- she could. <laughs> um, she loves that place. I mean, it's her favorite restaurant. But we got, she said, as we were sitting in the car, we had had this younger girl wait on us, and she got everything wrong. Everything uh-huh. we did wrong. And we were all patient with her. We knew she was new. It's fine. You know, like, we're going through this, you know, the, we're coming out of the pandemic deal. People are getting new jobs. She was really sweet, but she was terrible was a terrible waitress so when we're in the car i I said man i hope we don't get that i shouldn't have said this i was being negative in front of Maisie. i shouldn't have said this but i was like man i hope we don't get that same lady that messed up my tacos i shouldn't have said it Maisie goes tada she was new and i like that part. (laughs) i like that part because i okay good i haven't made you like me all right you're good you know what i mean like i was like okay that's good and then may goes i hope we get that old lady the uh, we don't know who she is but she's really old but she's the best and damned if we didn't get her so what i did is i said hey may you should tell her how much you appreciate her and you should tell her that what you said in the car she's like no no i don't want to do it it embarrasses me i was like no we i mean you've seen daddy complain a lot you complain a lot we're working through this thing with her about being a she's a fucking complainer and i'm like (laughs) Why? I, uh, this is a teaching moment. I'm like, yeah. let's tell this lady that we appreciate her and that she's our favorite waitress, right? And I got her to fucking do it. She, uh, she, I could see her turn to red. I could see she had a hard time doing it. But she's like, we were talking about you. <laughs> You're our favorite. And the la- it mattered. Yeah, yeah it, it made her That old that. lady, I swear yeah. to God, I probably extended her life a little From bit. From yeah. she, she was so happy that our family was like, yeah, we, we came here and we wanted to see you and we got to see you. And it was a necessary positive teaching moment. Tell me with your money, not your kid. <laughs> <laughs> I want money. Right. Well, we better. Now, let me shit on that point. Uh, yeah, there's please, a, please. There's a, bre- there's a breakfast place that we could walk to that I really like uh, where there is a waitress that we know by name that I will not be seated in her section because she's fucked something up every single fucking time we've yeah, gone in there. You get tired Do you of specifically it. ask not to I eat? will ask at the seating station. We do not want to be in Melinda's section. Oh, wow. he says it on the show, too. I like that. I support that. I support that. That's how you know he's genuine. Okay. So the last time we went there, um, no, not even the, it might have been the last time because we haven't been there for fucking, fucking ever. Uh, my wife thought it would be funny to get us specifically seated in Melinda's section. Oh, and that's a good did. prank. She did. She got a seat in a Melinda section. And uh, like I saw her coming with her little pad from a mile away. And I was like, no. And my wife is laughing. And it's like, ah, like the fucking, oh, like it. the She's evil villain. You. And uh, Melinda, f- f- 
I fucked up my order. <laughs> oh my she there's a little there's like a, a like a uh, like a breakfast uh, salad thing they do with um with like oh Tom hates breakfast salads. He <laughs> had one in France one time. He never <laughs> forgot it. Remember with like, that? They do like sure. coconut milk and chia seed, and it makes this nice little creamy base, and then they oh, put fruit it. and yeah. stuff on top of it, uh. and I love it. But Melinda brought me one that had clearly been scraped from the bottom of like an old oh. tin of chia and coconut because it was like it was it's supposed to be like it's supposed to be like puddingy yeah. and it Fresh. was hard it was like firm like you could yeah. barely get the spoon into it you're and giving it, me last night's breakfast salad it made me violently ill and i uh, oh. i was so sick later that day and i, I blame my wife so bad <laughs> That's it's, a great ass. That's a uh, good ass story. Is this old men bitches about a service? Yes. Because yes. I got one. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Bitch yeah. about Try service. <laughs> so I Sam actually bitches the most about service. I, do I? Yeah, I think we, you do. You have high, high standards, man. We went I have to no the, idea what you're talking about. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, will, I will suggest a place, and you'll be. Like, I went there. It was terrible. We. I think you have very yeah. high standards. We went to the beach over this past weekend, and uh, we uh, we wanted to go up because Turkey Leg was up. He wanted to go see Ron Johns uh, because oh it was a tourist. Why would anybody go to Ron Johns? And uh, so we uh, to get we to, to get subs at Publix. We went to the Cocoa Beach Publix, right? And oh. uh, so when we went in there, uh, I'm like waiting on the sub line. I'm like, why the hell is the line so long? And then I look over and the people making the subs. And I listen, I know it's not public's fault. It's like they can't find employees or whatever. It's Bob's fault. But they're old, old. <laughs> like, elderly. Like elderly old. Handshaking. Oh, like, yeah. uh, they can't help that. Slow, That's a medication. You know, That's a medication. But I'm like, man, they're slow. <laughs> like to the point <laughs> where it was like. I mean, to make one sub took eight minutes. Yeah. Like, oh, wow. like eight minutes sound like it's a long time. Yeah. Like where they're going from one there and they're like one tiny, like uh, two hand. Do you want any more onions? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, got to yeah. keep asking because they forget what you want. On yeah, it. yeah. You can't oh. say uh, like lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion. They're like pickle. Yeah, <laughs> one thing at a time. Yeah. yeah. And that like, old what man else? over there, he always asked me to say the meat again. I'm like, I said turkey. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! It's the first. <laughs> they only have three kinds of meat. <laughs> and, uh, and for some reason, in my mind, like anybody over the age of seventy shouldn't be making my subs <laughs> like it's not an old person job it's not like it's it's also I not a young person's job either it's a middle-aged person's <laughs> job sub maker i've my recently age. found the public subreddit ah and um oh, i've, I've you been might on have to share that if you don't mind <laughs> it's just r slash public uh i but i've been on like costco's subreddit for a long time and it's like it's just people like hey check out they got new pot stickers you know like right hey check, oh cool they got the grogu you know pillow thing or whatever you know like shit like that oh look at my dog with the goddamn costco toy it's constantly right right <laughs> the public subreddit is 100 percent public's employees bitching about public's like yes. constantly it is <gasps> fucking amazing yeah they don't they're not happy. they all hate it there <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and then there was one about like um but if you talk to them there they'll say they love it it's got a very communist regime uh, kind of no, a, it's, a it's like a it's in yeah, north yeah. korea for sure it is you're like when you're in there they're all like we love this place and then you go on to reddit and you're like wow i didn't know that they in all the grocery stores it's just fake food and people inside of them. and then there was a thread uh like a couple weeks ago about like uh did your store manager ever do anything fucked up whoa Ooh, it was great. <laughs> it was amazing. They they need to transition to all like all sub places need to have the Wawa screen uh, system where you just go through the screen. I think every place needs to have that. Yeah, and then they they behind the Ooh. scenes they're just making your shit, not dealing with customers because that's the problem. Right, like, they don't want to deal with customers. Communication, like, it's hard to communicate. Yeah. Making the subs is not that big of a deal. It's like you when you're asking the person what they want and they're like him and a ha, and then they want some fucking smoke good a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That shit. Yeah. It's just like, you, you but do they, the screens. They get lazy on the screens because you have to let the screens know what's in your inventory. So there are times when I go to Wawa and I want to get like, let's say, you know, I, I see Sam go in there and get like a, a beautiful, um, like you get those, um, what is it, an egg white wrap? Yeah. And it's beautiful. Yeah. But then I'll go there and then it's not on the, I'm like, well, how did she get this? It's not on my list. And then I'll see other people getting it and they're like, no, you had to ask for it because they didn't, they didn't put in there that they uh. had a quantity of egg whites. Because it will, it will like do it on its own. So if they run out of egg whites, it will automatically deduct that. Right, from, right. Yeah. But then if they don't put in that the truck came, then you know. So well, you know what? That's better than my kid loves the Orlando City sub at Publix. Oh, yeah. with and the black has, beans on good. it. It has black <laughs> bean hummus on right. it. But the Publix only has black bean hummus about thirty three percent of the fucking time. Oh, less than that. I so think. the online will let me order that sandwich all goddamn day long, and then I get there and I'm picking up my sandwiches, and it's just not there. You know what they do to me? They say, "Well, we called you." 
They never they called. Did the no, 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 no. Right? They're like, yeah. yeah, we called you. I was like, don't call me about myself. That's too far. I'd That's rather an invasion that. Of I'd privacy. rather because like I just assume they're making it, and then I go buy fifty dollars worth of more shit while I'm waiting. See what I want. I told this old man that, and I think uh, I think Sam was there. And it was embarrassing. I was like, why didn't you self start and use logic? I wanted the pulled pork <laughs> sub, right? And then he's like, we didn't have pulled pork. I tried to call you, and I was like, yeah, but you had moho pork, and pork's pork, you dumb fucking old man. <laughs> Put the pork on the sub. What the fuck? I mean, I want you. a little barbecue on that moho. You call. got pulled pork. I'm working. No. I'm working. I have a business. You called me about a fucking sandwich? Don't call me about a sandwich. I'm not a baby. <laughs> You it's produce? also we're recording like the whole time, so we can't just pick up the goddamn phone Thank for you. public. You know, it's like hey, pork. Oh, we're out of the smoke pork. What do we have that's even fucking close to that? Put that on there, Dan. I know this is important to you, but if it was me, I would put Publix in the phone and just have the. And when they call through, just be like, guys, got to take a second. They're calling about my sandwich. <laughs> you know what? You're right, and this is embarrassing. Here's the end of the story: is that I actually emailed them about that. <laughs> that's embarrassing. That's how you know I'm full old man because I was like, I will write them an email, and I did. Who's reading that? <laughs> like, Nobody. <laughs> Hopefully that old man read it. <laughs> Where, what mailbox does it even go to? Like, uh, I don't the know. Deli manager or whatever? Like, George. They, they don't give Mr. Shit. George I, is dead. At the laundromat, I went through like all the... I was like, what am I, am I going to call the owner? I don't give a fuck. I, I'll, 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 call the, I'll call the fire department and tell them about the science. They're not going to give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Nobody, gonna, yeah. I just go to the other laundromat now. <laughs> yeah, 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 I haven't yeah, yeah. been back to that fucking laundromat. But I hate it if it's the one you really like. It's 50-50. Okay. It's, I could go either way. I do love a good laundry mat. I might have Andrea on the hook once she once Sam uh, leaked out that it's a dollar a pound. That's a lot I, might, yeah. I might get to do it. You once. guys are three Ross, people, maybe. You need to go do it once. You need to, to go full crazy old man and start uh, making fake quarters in your basement of uh, like uh, using like uh, washers start? or something. Or whatever. no, just like making them so they work in the laundry uh, laundry mat machine, and then you go there and you start putting the fake quarters. So over years, they get scammed out of uh, hundreds of dollars in quarters. The and best. Scenario. I could come up with where I could actually do something, not get arrested, and inconvenience these people was start a late load one night. <laughs> yeah. Just like go at the That's absolute the last minute yeah. and start a long load and then wash it twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Start it again. Like, I'd yeah. just be like, oh, it didn't rinse and just pop the quarters yeah, in before yeah. they can say anything. And, like, I have really. sensitive skin. Got to make sure all those suds are out. <laughs> mm, that's a shame. They probably just go and turn the breakers <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Bring a generator. I mean, at that point, they're Bring stealing my clothes. I'm calling cops. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a whole thread in the uh, Publix Reddit that says, name something that's equal to or worse than a customer walking up to the deli at 9.58 p.m. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's well, hold on. See, they hate us, too. Yeah, Nine they do. <laughs> that, that's a flawed statement. Should have been 9.59. Two minutes, you can make us up. <laughs> uh, it's you know, true. Yeah, I you mean, can throw a sandwich together in two minutes. <laughs> Not yeah. those old men. <laughs> Eight minutes. Anyway, anyway, take a little break? Yeah, let's take a break. Uh, we'll do some news after this. Um, then we got some dump them out. Dig it. Oh, we have a guy that called in who hates dump them out. Oh, man, does he hate it. I got, a, I got no. a confrontation where I probably was the asshole. <laughs> okay. It's probably oh, oh, yeah. wow, you're flipping That's the script. Good That's a good one. All right. Uh, you've got all of that to look forward to. The name of the band, Cave In. The name of the song is Blood Spiller. It's, it's a positive, uplifting song. <laughs> we'll be back with more A Mediocre Time. one 844 Show at TomAndDan.com for last-minute emails. We'll be right back. Yes. PDM Affinity is real. <laughs> Welcome back to a Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. When uh, are we going to get our own island like Jared Leto? I don't know. See, I don't know when you're joking about Jared Leto or <laughs> like it, he's bad, right? Is he bad? Not good. It's it, it's like not. It, yeah. Already, well, what's bad about it? Well, he's like he's uh, problematic. Cool. Yeah. Is that the word we use now? What do you know about Jared Leto, Ross? He was the Joker. Yeah. Is it? Uh, yeah, apparently yeah. a terrible one. <laughs> yeah, Everyone well, hated it. I thought it looked cool. I was the only. And he was person. an asshole to every single castmate. And then he <laughs> sent him like used condoms and shit. Oh yeah. In the mail. You hear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that a guy you want to hang out with? A guy that's just like, hey, I'm going to send Ross a used condom. He has an affinity Whoa, for... Uh, what did Ross do? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, no, no. I, I, I used the condom and asked him to mail it to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are like his co-stars. Oh, the... Yeah, yeah. Well, what did they do to him? He uh, was nothing. trying to prove he was the Joker. Yeah, he was like, playing into like, the part. Oh, look, I'm man. a man. But like man. in real life, like an asshole. I wonder if there are actual used condoms. Um, I think so, because then later he backtracked and pretended like he never said that because I think his publicist told him you cannot fucking say that you sent bodily fluids to people. Ixnay on the undem yeah. case. <laughs> it was mayonnaise. 
Uh, <laughs> let's do some news. I can't after hmm? it was mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, uh, <laughs> what did he put in there? All right, here we go. I gotta find Jeez. the right. <laughs> yeah, come, come stop! <laughs> Don't talk about it. Ross's piece of shit news. God, I don't want Tom saying that, and I don't want you saying that News. right after he said that. Brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go, Just Call Mo. It's the Duet Law Firm. Mo Duet's great. How do we get a copy of that Injured on the Go, Just Call Mo? Have you heard that? No. Oh, dude, it's so good. I heard it during Jimmy's show one day, and it's like, if you're if you're hurt on the go, just call Mo. If you're injured on the go, just call Mo. It's like these guys doing like harmony. It's really good. I like his NPR. His NPR <laughs> ads are like uh, for divorce, and he gets real serious, and he's Moses Dewitt. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> should we start calling him Moses? <laughs> yeah, we should. Ha- would he dress as Moses? <laughs> How is he uh, not already? Based yeah. on everything he's ever put online, I'm going to say yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe he doesn't want people to think that he's like belittling people that are like Christian or, or religion. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, religion. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't mm. want to wander into that territory because it can be like you can insult people. I'm gonna throw it out there. Mo doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Um, what do we got today? Ross? All right, we got some good news, you guys. Uh, 2022 Oktoberfest back on. Yeah, M- Munich, Germany. They haven't done it for two years. This year, uh, they're gonna just have a full-on unrestricted uh, Oktoberfest. Little boys with whips are back. <laughs> Uh, Isn't that what you saw when you went to Oktoberfest? It was like little boys in lederhosen, like doing whips on tables yes. and big beers with those big, like stout, like beer yeah. garden ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so they haven't done it for two years, correct? Correct. The yeah. previous two, uh, they're they're uh, usually attracts about six million uh, people to Munich. Uh, they're hoping they're hoping a bunch more uh, this year. Um, I was just uh, laughing with Sam um, about. Wait a minute. Uh, there's no, absolutely that's no we're laughing. We're yeah, laughing. How with you, Ross? There's no <laughs> way. That, no. Okay, we're not actually <laughs> laughing. We just. So you're a liar. <laughs> I was saying words with Sam. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> And uh, and there was a and this is a nice thing. I'm not, I don't mean to belittle it at all. Uh, but what you want me to spell? Doogie Howser. There was a there was a BDM that had their grandma that just moved here, and she is uh, like, uh, you know, it's her mom. But yeah. Oh, it's her mom. Wow, so, that's until sorry. <laughs> she's like ninety six. Uh, you look uh, like a yeah, grandma. She's turning ninety eight on Sunday. Ninety eight. Yeah. So was, and then she was like, oh, she doesn't have any friends. So BDMs come by, say hi to her. Uh, you know, whatever. And like, and I'm like, wow, we really turned the corner where pandemic to now every stranger comes out and comes say hi to my grandma, grandma. Yeah. <laughs> cough in my grandma's mouth <laughs> <laughs> like, we uh, can get back to normal fast yeah. <laughs> with, like, give with your grandma a big Richard Dawson <laughs> kiss like, right it on never the happened <laughs> come to her party she wants to do bobbing for apples <laughs> yeah like, exactly I'm sure, I'm sure in uh, like you know Oktoberfest it's gonna be just as crazy and as packed like there's not even gonna be ease into it it's gonna be like back to normal <laughs> like, yeah. Octo- like Oktoberfest everybody partying uh, and Exactly how they used to do it. Dancing on tables, slamming big boots of beer yeah, around. Sharing boots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was going to be back to normal. Which I thought was disgusting pre-COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I always, like, I guess if if you hand me the boot first or second, I'm okay with it. But I used to always get it towards the first. end. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, oh, man. And then Big Rick hands it to me. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, no offense, Rick, but, you know, just yeah. larger mouth. <laughs> this, larger like, mouth. The person right before you, he's just chugging yeah, the boot. Yeah, he's drinking all of it. And, and backwash is getting hard. There's no way it does And then, like, the last... Last gulp, it catches like his throat oh, and, and a little. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then he's up to back he to the and, and you <laughs> see, and he's and slobbering like a dog inside of it, and he hands it to you. Yeah, then you see like <laughs> one cheese it, like right. Like, oh, right. Oh. But the good thing about a boot is with that little toe piece and all, it's super easy to wash. <laughs> <laughs> they stay, they stay clean as hell. Yeah. They do. Yeah. They have a special candy cane bristle brush. <laughs> Like, yeah, <laughs> but you can't get the very end. There's a you black can't. at the end. You, can't. <laughs> you just don't talk about that, right? And uh, you hope that it seals itself up after a while. <laughs> uh, next story. All right, uh, let's go to Portland. Uh, they just recently <laughs> passed an uh, ordinance to ban the for-profit display of human remains. Why did they have to do that, Ross? You ask. Uh, recently, some guy, uh, this this guy, was a World War II veteran. Uh, his wife thought she donated the body to science. But what ended up happening was the body ended up in Portland and some guy sold tickets uh, to the Portland Hotel and did a live dissection of this dude. Oh, my God. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? 
I mean, like that is crazy. First fucking thing I thought I would have gone. Yeah, I think I. I mean, I'd be tempted to be like buy a ticket because I wouldn't think it would. I'd be like, of course this is legal because they're doing it. Does he have any experience with uh, dissecting a human body, or is it just? Oh, look at this! Oh man, it's the food bag. (laughs) I got the food bag here, and then oh god, look at these pink things. Did he go to med school or something? Like, is there any background of uh, dissection, or is just like, hey, I'm gonna cut open this corpse and cut open my grandma? at the hotel <laughs> who wants to come five dollars <laughs> i mean if it would have been his grandpa it would have been fine but apparently he bought it from some like medical supply company if it's casual this guy I, ended up at i feel like if it's casual and you're like hey everybody meet at the hotel uh you know bring five dollars and we're gonna cut this dude open why would you want to see that yeah, i've never seen it before yeah but it's a uh, disgusting right uh, like uh, i don't know morbid never <laughs> seen it <laughs> yeah yeah but you can imagine what it he, would some be people like. Are just like fascinated with stuff. You I know? mean, like, there, I couldn't do it. There is a, a reason horrible. why most podcasts that crush are only about horrible things. It's true. If you look at the yeah, top, yeah, I list, listen to a shit ton of murder stuff, yeah. but I'm not watching anybody dissect a body. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, even, Gross. like, you know, they're, like, even right now, like, I mean, uh, the latest time suck I think I saw is um, Vladimir Putin. It's not like it's uplifting stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it's, like, there. that is the people crave that stuff, and man. They so, love that people stuff. People watch surgeries and stuff oh yeah my yeah. wife loves that stuff there's yeah, a major art installation that travels worldwide that is just human cadavers sliced into thin little yeah. slices that came through the orlando museum of art I like, went yeah, a year yeah. or two yeah. ago and i went to that and they're world famous they're asian prisoners too it's kind of gross and like they, they, they take these guys it's like they, all they're all muscle like uh, look at this yeah, muscle horse <laughs> yeah like and then they skin them because and, and they don't they're prisoners so i don't think they they, they didn't were, have a choice they're like yeah. yeah i'd like to donate myself so the you know these you know White yeah. people can learn about the body. It's like, no, that's they not how They died it of natural causes. Yeah, <laughs> probably, yeah, probably <laughs> building things yeah. and, and collapsing because they didn't have gay Exhaustion. Yeah. Well, I mean, they worked to death. Uh, that's, um, you know, no one killed you, technically. My dad said he worked himself to death. <laughs> um, so they banned it just for this one dude it's because it seems like this is not a... A thing that happens that often, right? It's like I, I've never even heard of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm in agreement with you, Tom. The Portland City Council really freaked out about this one live human dissection <laughs> in a human in a theater. <laughs> well, they, I'm just saying <laughs> the chat room was saying that this has been popping up across the nation really? a lot. Really? Yeah, like this is like a thing now where people are buying bodies and then charging to have like house show autopsy. Can you Let's re- do it live at Johnny's. <laughs> 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 Let's do it at a hurricane party. <laughs> yeah, yes. autopsy. Johnny's meetup. other side. Yep. Oh, it'll be like that sandwich making contest we did that yeah, one. That, oh, that went great. God. <laughs> mustard everywhere. <laughs> I feel, well, it wasn't mustard. I mean, that lady, yeah. I felt so bad for everyone's eyeballs that day. My God. <laughs> so, oh, that was terrible. Can you just buy a cadaver without having any sort of documentation of what, you know, can you just buy Why don't we try? No. Why don't we Where try? Where do you buy it? from like is is there some sort of uh like medical facility that sells human organs and like parts and like you know that f- to other medical facilities or anybody can oh. you buy a you can buy any type of other animal just humans would be hard to come by right I was reading up a little bit about this because I saw a human skeleton for sale online the other day, yeah, yeah, and I was reading yeah. up a little bit. Apparently, like they kind of, it was kind of a free for all. I forget what the time period, like the seventies, eighties, something. They made a made, they made a rule about it, kind of. So until then, it was kind of a free for all. So you got like a lot of skeletons from all over, and a lot of them apparently came out of India. Like your um your human display models, like you'd maybe see in a classroom or something if you're growing up when you had a just skeleton right. in the science teacher's classroom or some some Indian dude or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, any, anywhere it. where the man that haunts my nightmares. <laughs> <now>. Wow. <laughs> So, but you used to be able to just buy yeah. whatever human mar- and it, remains. And from if, this is a minute ago, I read it, but it was it's kind of like ivory, you know, like you used to be able to get it. You can't now, can't really sell it without, except with like special dispensation or something. If it's been in your family and you can prove you didn't just like acquire, it, you didn't murder some dude. Yeah, because I know <laughs> that. Remember, um, uh, who are we talking to that? Um, uh, that had a human about murder, Tuttle? No, no, human skeleton in their fish tank or whatever. Like uh, had acquired a human skeleton. Are you talking about uh, Derek with his? Was oddity, it Derek with his oddity collection? And it I know may have Earl, been Derek. Earl has some yeah. oddities. But I remember them saying they're like, "Oh, don't talk about it because yeah. it's like you can't really own it without documentation of where you got it from." So yeah. that uh, like a fetus because, or stuff like that. There's stuff you can't own because there's t- technically the cops could show up at your house and yeah. confiscate it or start to you know yeah. like, "Hey, you have a." human remains in yeah. your possession where like you need to we need to know where this came from 
Uh, right? He definitely should have started this story by saying his name for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You, you know. doxed him. No. Uh, <laughs> it says that this thing was held uh, hosted by Death Science, which is a media company with no professional credentials. <laughs> oh, wow. Most media And I guess companies. the hotel that they <laughs> like hosted yeah. it at, they said that they were severely misled about the event. No, so they didn't even at, know that they were cutting a body open. That's what every hotel says they about to, every right? event they <laughs> yeah, have. They here. have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we told, had one here in town, right? <laughs> we were told this was an alien autopsy. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know that this was Proud Boy <laughs> they do, City. They you know, got like, a podcast. <laughs> you should check it out. Um, so this was all probably a stunt for like uh, like a podcast. They, char- they charged money. They charged up to $500 God to see damn. this. Yeah. What was that in the splash zone? And it was right a ninety. Oh, it was yeah. a ninety-eight year old man that died from coronavirus. I don't want to see a ninety-year-old man. It, I want to see like a middle-aged person. So this, I mean, the same type of people like uh, that are in podcasting now were in '90s radio. It's the same, uh, you know, personality. Some of them, and, yeah, and the same ego and stuff like that. And like you see, I mean, I think um, what's a old Dave Portnoy, the uh, barstool sports guy. That guy's a '90s radio DJ. It's just in a different era. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and these people do stunts to get st- attention. Yeah, stunts yeah. for attention. Mm-hmm. Oh God, this has got to be that. Sam, that quote. Read that I know. quote. Oh, that's terrible. sad. Um, so I'm reading the stories. Like his wife uh, is a 92 year old woman in Louisiana. It says she did not learn what happened to her husband's body until after King TV published footage that showed his name printed on an armband still attached to his wrist. Oh, oh God, gosh. that's so sad. Now, but what the fuck, man? She probably thinks she's next. Well, <laughs> well, they signed off on the donating his body to science, but yeah, everybody not thinks, death science. Well, everybody thinks that it's going to be used for the cure cancer, and yeah, I'm and sure, he's ninety eight, so like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sure it's just like you know, who knows what happens? Like, it, it, they end up di- dissecting someone in college, or you know, it's that kind of oh, stuff, right? God. Uh, we were like getting up on that body farm and they figure out how you decompose in like the frost or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, I kind of want to end up there. I think that'd be neat. That's not bad. Yeah. That's better than this. But like, is this science? You, you sold tickets to right. it. Right. What, who was doing the dissection? I would want to know. Was this a doctor? Like, was this a guy who's trained to do it or just some asshole up there with a buck knife, like doing right. a Y it incision? Dr. Destructive from <laughs> Twitch. Because <laughs> I feel like if it, if it wasn't a trained medical professional of some sort, they could get this guy on like um, uh, desecration of a body or something. Like, Absolutely. Most places, most places have that on the books already or some sort of like um because this is another thing that's popular right now we had that lady that was like pretending to be a nurse and like diagnosing things like for decades she was doing this like people are like pretending to be like a uh, an actual medical doctor an autopsy you know like a coroner or something like that people love to lie are, well, you, are uh, you talking about this 60 year old guy in berlin uh he got himself vaccinated 90 times so he could get uh he could get legitimate vaccine batch numbers to make fake vaccination cards for people 90 <laughs> times 90 times <laughs> he just uh kept getting <laughs> vaccinated to get the they uh, caught him because he went to the same place two days in a row Oh, he almost had it. <laughs> it sounds like he almost had he it. He had it for 90 fucking yeah, shots in a row. Man. And then you slip up one time. Mm-hmm. God. Uh, what this should tell the people that think it's dangerous, like, well, it's not yeah. that dangerous. Yeah. So this guy did it 90 times. 90 times. Well, well, you know, actually, his heart exploded right after <laughs> that. <last night. laughs> like, could you get it done, like, no matter, like, an infinite number of times? Like, it doesn't yeah, matter. Every right? morning, shoot me up. <laughs> uh, eventually, That's something's crazy. bad, right? Um, wow. 90 times. That's a lot of <laughs> ruined weekends because all my friends, everybody, you know, I get it. You get the booster. Oh, I feel so sick. Was this guy sick 90 times? No, I probably didn't do shit to him, you know? And yeah. how many holes did they have to ignore to, like, do this? You yeah. Know, like, did he wait the, like, aren't you supposed to wait, like, a certain amount of time before you're like, oh, it took. Well, he went two days in a row. So yeah, definitely so not. he's just going and getting <laughs> it every day. Like, ah, yeah, I think that's really bad for you. But also, <laughs> it's not like, you know, nowadays you got the your state issued driver's license that have some hologram built in and it has some like you know the code in the back they scan like it's there's technology built into it most vaccination cards are just a fucking printed out card with, yeah. you know what I'm saying so mine's written in like <laughs> it's got a bubble heart on the eye it's, of my name that some lady wrote <laughs> seems easier just to forge the piece of paper than actually have to go through the actual vaccination right? I don't know what yeah. the system is in Germany though but he was forging the cards but he, he needed that legit number on like the vaccine batch they oh, must have like some kind of something? Yeah. Oh, okay, some kind yeah, of yeah. thing they can check and make sure. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that's uh, you know, I guess if you can make money, fuck it, right? You you're <laughs> gonna do it. You you know. Oh yeah, you're gonna try. If if you could sell one of those vaccination cards in Germany, what's the for, price you think? 
you know, 500 bucks. I don't know, you know, people that don't want to get it and want to. What were the NFL shit? guys selling them for? Or were they just doing it and getting them for, for friends? Well, they were, they were buying them. But I think in the United States, it's probably easier to get uh, because, like I said, it was just a fucking uh, piece of paper, you know? Um, no one's scanning anything into. Uh, I can't even read like, my vaccination card. And then my, my it, nerd wife, like, laminated it. Even in New York, weren't they just looking at it like a bouncer at your ID or something? And All then, right, you're good. And then the joke was Very that good. nobody was even looking. They're just, you know, and they're going through the protocol. Yeah. Uh, you know, no one's checking up on it. No. Anyway, uh, what else we got, Ross? You guys' internet is taking a shit, so I can't bring up my news no. stories. Um, <laughs> you guys want a confrontation while we're waiting? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. I think I, I told you guys I got uh, fake uh, service dog badges for my dog. Yep. Uh, okay. The yes, uh, the vest. <laughs> yeah. The, the yeah, service yeah. dog vest. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's got a she's got a little she's got a little combat vest that she kind of runs in Love to begin it. with, and it's got like uh, like tactical Velcro strips to put badges on. Yeah. <laughs> and so I bought I bought like a, a pouch of Amazon with yeah, like yeah. different ones, and I okay so I didn't put the one on that says service dog. Okay. I um. did put a bunch of them on. Like one came that said best friend. Like one came that oh, said that one's a non-aggressive. Do not talk to me. I put like all the non-service <laughs> dog ones, and I, there is one. Do not talk to me. <laughs> there's one that says in training. Oh, so I, oh I that. that's <laughs> fantastic. I, I like the do not pet me. Yeah. I'm not a yeah. pet or yeah. service dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, the in training is kind of my like sneak in service dog, uh, you know, attempt. I'm not, I'm not lying. She's, no, you're you know, not. You're I training mean, it. Technically, I'm training my dog. You know? like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, because you don't want to be egregious with the scam and be like, yeah, you don't want to dabble in the scam. You put like a, a purple heart on the dog and a beret yeah. that you're saying yeah. it saved the soldiers. If, you don't want to do that. If, if the, no false value. If the if the business <laughs> thinks it's a service dog, that's on them. Like, yeah. you, know, you I shouldn't just, assume. Yeah. I just put a vest, a you tactical ask, vest, ask my a, dog, and put it's training. Statement. That's what I say. They're like, is that a service dog? I go ask him. <laughs> and again, I just want this so that every once in a while when I'm already drunk and I decide I want to get a little bit drunker, I can walk up to the store with my dog yeah, and get a bottle of champagne and buzz out. That's totally all, support that's it. all oh, this yeah. is Totally about. support it. So the other day I got drunk <laughs> oh. and I decided I want to get a little drunker and I took my dog for a walk and I... I <sighs> I don't live in a rough neighborhood, but fucking everywhere is a rough neighborhood Aww. as far as I'm concerned. I agree. So I got my phone and my earbuds because I'm not a savage. I'm going to be listening to fucking music while I'm walking my dog. Aww. And I got I put a $20 bill in my pocket. Okay, right. Not my wallet. I put a $20 bill in my pocket so that you know if I do get jumped, mugged, whatever, here's my $20, but I don't have to get my license renewed. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> so... Twenty dollar bill. <laughs> That's what they do in Mexico, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, put they, in your sock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hide. I was, I was just talking to uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesse about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's like, yeah, when the uh, Panamanian uh, police shake you down, <laughs> you have to hide the real money yeah, in your put socks. Put sixty in one side, twenty in the and other, and then put a five dollar bill in your pocket, and then do the move where you fold your pockets inside out, and then they take the. You fiber. know, you can do that by holding the money in your hands. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Sleight of hand. Was it David Blaine that got mugged and did like sleight of hand? Yeah, yeah. He did. Yeah. Really? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. a good story. Yeah, like they mugged him. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> we should d- d- t- tell that story. It's old, but it was awesome. Isn't, I think it hit the news from forever ago. So, um, take the dog for a walk. I come back and I hit. There's a. There's like an all night uh, drugstore on the corner. Uh-huh. Walk in with a dog. No problem. Nobody says his fucking word. Uh, <laughs> okay. Here's. Uh, uh, so I walk in right behind these two nurses. Uh-huh. Old nurse, young nurse, walk in right in mm, front of me. I played that game before. <laughs> I gotta walk past them, go to the booze aisle, get my ten dollar bottle of champagne because I'm a fancy gentleman, and I go to check out. And I got my twenty dollar bill, got my dog. <laughs> Are you holding the dog, or is it so, on she's a on leash? a leash? Okay, and uh, yeah. I tell her sit. She sits. She's a good dog. Are you wearing full fatigues? <laughs> <laughs> oh please! <laughs> With the American <laughs> bandana. Yeah, like American <laughs> bandana. You look like Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually wearing that outfit that uh, like you get attacked by dogs in. They're I'm getting, wearing that. Oh, so oh, they, the they're big, taking me yeah, seriously. That, like this dog could snap. Where can we find one of those for Ross? <laughs> that would be awesome that he walks around wearing that. So I walk up to the cashier. I put down my bottle of champagne. Oh. I tell Shadow sit. She said she's a good dog. And the guy goes, "Hey, how's it going? Good evening. Can I see your ID?" No. And I'm like, "Sir, do I look like I'm under 21?" And he goes, "No." I go, "Do you think I might be under 21?" He goes, "No." And I was like, "I don't have ID on me. Do you want to sell me this or not?" And he goes, "Oh, I got it. I got it. I'm just. I'm just." He goes. 
I'm just following orders here. And yeah. I, go, I go, that's what the Nazis said, John. <laughs> nice. That's <laughs> good. And, uh, that might, that's one of the few things I regret about this. Uh, I, said, I did say that, <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, And, okay. Now, yes. do... <laughs> I yes, this continue. Story, story not over, by the way. This is just a pause. No, no, oh, no. Okay. Yeah. I'm mad. I, I'm just mad at the... I know the person has, like, obviously maybe been yelled at, like, you have to check everybody's you ID. You can get fired for that. You, like, have a cop. If I don't check someone's ID and he's an undercover cop, he's they not get in trouble. Mm-hmm. You know, so like, there's that. But then there's also... That uh, is what my kid Ross, said. Ross. You know, like, <laughs> my kid said, Daddy... You're in the wrong here because that man could lose his job. If you were an undercover police and you were the one checking and you didn't check his, he could lose his job. I said, son, I worked at 7-Eleven. I went through a couple of those things. <laughs> they never send in a drunk guy with a dog. <laughs> yeah, no, I was Zero to... percent of the okay. time okay. Okay. do they send in that. a drunk and, guy with a yeah. dog. And you have yeah. real world experience. So check, <laughs> check my dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. And also, when it's a regular local police, the undercover cops, they just wear their j- jeans and their tucked in polo. Yeah. They, like, they dress still like a look like a cop. They don't go, they're not no, like they get a kid. The, they get a kid that looks kind of old. To go in and try to buy booze without yeah, an ID, yeah. and if Not you sell it dog. to them, they come in and take your fucking, they take you away. That's no, it's. No cop is going through the disguise that you're wearing. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. like, your everyday wear. Yeah. First of all, because if you do sell it to me without, an, there's no fucking crime. There's no crime. Yeah, there's right. not a law that says you have to check an old man's ID. That's just store policy. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no law about yeah. that. There's no law sell, about Yeah, you sell alcohol to a, a minor, a, an aged uh, a person. You that's... sell alcohol to me all fucking day long. I'm <laughs> yeah, of age. So there's no age. law being brought yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then my wife uh, correctly pointed out, like, later, he, you were visibly drunk. I was like, yes, I was. He didn't try not to sell you booze for being visibly drunk. I was like, no, that he if he would have done that, I would have walked out the door. That's valid. That's valid. <laughs> yeah. She's fair point. I am drunk. Goes, he didn't say anything to you about your illegal dog. I was like, not a fucking word. If he would have said, get your dog out of here, I would have just walked out with my dog. That's a fair point. <laughs> He's he, in training. So okay, it um at this point, this place closes at midnight. Oh no, no we're back here again. <laughs> oh my god, we're back here again. <laughs> oh oh <laughs> shit. Ross is like, oh, it's time. Uh, everything's about to close. That's what I'm trying to 30 minutes to Ross. <laughs> He's every 30 minutes. So this place it's it's 10 minutes to midnight. This place closes at midnight. I'm about a four minute walk from my house. All right. I dropped the Nazi card at like 10 till. <laughs> all right. Uh, so John refuses to sell me my uh, booze. Uh, I go, all right, thank you. Good day. I walk out the door. Sprint to my fucking house. Me and my dog sprint to my house. Okay, oh. I burst into my house just <laughs> <laughs> drunk, <laughs> dripping alcohol sweat, and I go to my wife, get in the van. We gotta go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> she, to be fair, doesn't ask a fucking question. Just gets the keys, gets in the van, yeah. and I, oh, we yeah, drive up. Wife. We uh, drive up to the store. It's like a minute away drive. We get there. It's like I don't know, five minutes to midnight. I go, hey. <laughs> we were like we're pulling up to the door in the fire lane I go hey park right here I've already been into it in here tonight already and she's just like doesn't say a word yeah yeah she's she ride or die puts it in fucking park and uh, lets me out I walk into the store like at this point still a little huffing like yeah, yeah. sweating like I'm the same guy I was a minute ago but like who knows what the fuck's been going on in the meantime <laughs> and the two nurses are still there and the one nurse, the older nurse, turns to John and goes, we'll be in the car, honey. So it's his wife and daughter, right? Oh, like, no. And then she clearly recognized me, whether or not because he's been bitching about me for the last five minutes. I don't know. <laughs> the but crazy like, guy's back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. He brought his wife and dog again. <laughs> 100% recognizes me and is like, I don't even want to see what's about to happen here. <laughs> and it just uh, at that point, I just go get... Uh, the, I, I didn't even look to see if he had the same bottle there. I just knew he'd already put it back, and he had. So I went and got it, came back to the uh, cashier. He doesn't say a fucking word to me. He doesn't ask me to punch in my points number or anything, which is, which is all those, so by the way, store policy. Yeah, yeah. And you can get in trouble for <laughs> yeah, if you yeah. don't do it. And uh, not, a word passed, not a word passes. The only noise is when I click my license down on the counter. <laughs> Shove it at him. <laughs> the, uh, w- again, wh- what's in it for him? What's in it for him? Uh, the 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 off chance that the, his the owner gets mad and like uh, yeah you know, fires him. It, it, I can honestly say there's no this Walgreens. There's no oh, 
Beat that out. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 made, I, oh, I thought this yeah, was yeah. a liquor yeah, store. Yeah, 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 no, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on. Uh, no, I'm on there, that guy's side. <laughs> there is no <laughs> playing champagne at Walgreens. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. He's a fancy boy. ABC closes at fucking nine, Tom. Yeah, they do. If I decide I want to get <laughs> drunker at eleven thirty, I have limited options. He's right. Hold on. I thought this was a mom and pop liquor store that is dusty shelves, and it was like, what do you got? I didn't know this. No, that would make sense. That lady's got something. I was going to say, that'd be more. That so person. giant corporation, who gives a fuck? Did John at fucking the Walgreens kind of, what, what yeah, skin yeah. does he really have in the game? And he admitted, None. he admitted, None. he looked at me and he admitted like he had judged me above 21, so he knows he can legally sell me booze. He's just being a prick to be a prick because he knows he's got that, I got to do it because they say so, card his Wait, But he also probably doesn't have that many experiences with champagne purchases, right? Uh, like how, Okay, I see how, your argument you know, too, yeah. Most of the time, he's dealing Dealing with, uh, you know, uh, hemorrhoid cream and, you know, other tampons. Yeah, tampons and whatever the hell you talk, We're talking yeah. about a 10 foot dollar of bear, <laughs> a 10 foot, a 10 dollar <laughs> bottle of barefoot bubbly. It's, I'm not buying Dom Perignon yeah. at the fucking Walgreens. <laughs> yeah, but, but then it's like, hold on. Now I'm, now I'm on this guy's side because it's suspicious. He's like, wait a minute, this guy, so why is he buying <laughs> It also champagne? means a lot to this guy because he came back with his family. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's a yeah, lot yeah. going on. Why here. is this gentleman buying champagne in full fatigues at Walgreens? <laughs> you know, I know why. I know why because Ross taught me that that barefoot bubbly is pretty fucking good. Dude, twelve percent alcohol. It's fucking, good. It's good stuff. Yeah, don't sleep on it. Mm. Yeah. Also, if you're buying pizzas, frozen pizzas, hold on a second. Greens. That's my favorite thing to buy. <laughs> and, and Dwight the TGI Friday's potato skin. And Dwight Yoakum's chicken kickers. <laughs> and maybe some of those. Uh, it's not the it's not the Ben and Jerry's ice cream, but just the little cookie dough bites they put. Yes! In the yes! those, things. those are great. <laughs> they do give me diarrhea though, because I ate a whole thing of them one oh, time. My I mowed right through. So them. Then there's a little uh, area. For for like some cheeses and milks and stuff. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's like they started oh, selling sushi at Walgreens. <laughs> oh, they have like sad dad <laughs> breakfast corner where you walk over and it's like frozen pancakes, fruit. eggs, milk, fruit. It's like stuff that dads forget when it's their night to keep the kids. It's sad. Yeah, yeah. And holiday stuff for people who forgot about the holidays until eleven thirty yeah. at night. Yeah, yeah. I like the beach section or yes. uh, yes. in the Walgreens. You can get a good sundress. Sarong. Yeah. Yeah. They got sarong. Well, near the coast, they always have a little beach section. It was like here's some sand toys. <laughs> There's like stand toys. Uh, there's uh, sarongs and towels and uh, flip flops. The yeah. one by me, they somehow got uh, permission to make T-shirts and socks and like shorts with the local high school logo. Yeah, <laughs> they got high school that. fucking. There's like a whole high school what? merch section there's in like the goddamn Walgreens high school shirt. Yeah, <laughs> wait, weird. so Walgreens are weird. now selling Oak Ridge High School. Well, by me, it's Boone, but yeah, oh, right. yeah. Right. Like, how, what weird. was the? Who wants that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, is it? I does would it wear. Sell? I would wear a boom tank top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's like, did anybody go? Like, what even gave them the idea to start selling high school, like local high school merch? Well, you got a lot of time to kill when you're waiting for guys with dogs to roll through. <laughs> you know, like, 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 you got to think of something to do. You know, it's, it, and especially like the last time I've been in like CVS or whatever, there's never that many people like shopping around in the fucking store in the middle, like. You're the the prescription place. I do love shopping in there. I like going down <laughs> every aisle. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's like I like it. Dude, it's what it's weird like because it? they got a little bit of everything, but never what you need. Exactly. <laughs> no, yeah. it's, like, it's like everything in here is useless. Walk around. That's what I do. So I, like, I walk around. And I think I, I needed like electrical tape one day. I went. They got seventy five different kinds of duct tape. They got masking yeah. tape, but no fucking electrical tape. They just never what you need. Yeah. Yeah, a look, lot of die cast cars. You need a hammer. They got a screwdriver. They got a fucking s- 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 saw. They do not have a hammer. <laughs> I enjoy all of the as seen on TV products. Oh, I do love the as seen on TV aisle. I enjoy generics. I will walk and look at like. What are the new medicinal uses of copper? Yeah, I like all of that. <laughs> My stuff. husband, no matter I love where all that stuff. we go, any store has to check out the clearance section. Yes. <laughs> Why? Every time. Because yeah. there's garbage. Treasure. Treasure. Most of the time, he doesn't even buy yeah. anything from the section, but we have yeah. to wait. You see Ross's treasure it. report after he gets done with his, <laughs> his altercations and treasure on. report. <laughs> 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 Ross McCoy altercations and treasure report <laughs> <laughs> from the Walgreens clearance. Yeah, uh, Jackal's cart. working on a theme for you for Ross's new altercations. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're gonna do altercations. <laughs> And uh, then there's why the- do why do men like to go to the clearance section? Everybody in the chat is I like, go yeah, clearance, love clearance. I go toys, board games, uh, automotive. I always walk the automotive. 
<laughs> clearance because um, if it's something you need and it's half off, then you're like, hell yeah, score. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll walk it's through the you need. <laughs> 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 nothing you need. I'll go through the it's nail like polish. Loss like I'll like, walk oh, through like, the nail polish and I'll be like, imagine if they had this for boys. <laughs> <laughs> like I do. I walk through there. I look at all of it. I'm like, I I'm, do the same thing with tampons. <laughs> yeah, I just walk through and I look at all the stuff. Then I'll go back in and I'll look at like where they have the beer and I'll be like, so that's the type of beer that people drink around here because they only carry what sells local. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I I very much enjoy stores. That's why I'm a Walmart guy. That's why the one down on International Drive, the Walgreens down on I Drive, is nuts because awesome. it tries to cater to people from all over the fucking yeah. world. So it's like it's the just UN. Weird. Yeah, it's it, weird. It's like, <laughs> why? Who is buying an end cap of oddly shaped metal cars? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the, that, they'll sell that. Where they're not matchbox no. shape. They're like. Five times bigger than yeah, Matchbox, but, but they're, they're metal. not real cars. <laughs> they're just variations of real cars. But like the doors, are, like who is buying this? <laughs> dads that are sad. <laughs> is it sad dads? Sad dads uh, that buys it for the kid's birthday party yeah. that they're going to. Yes. There's kids in the Walgreens, <laughs> and he's going there to pick up his uh, Viagra, and he's gonna drop him off his mouth ha- uh, m- mom's house, and the kids won't shut up. And he's like, "Here, hold this car," and he's like, "How much is that?" And he buys it. But if you were a kid and somebody shows up to your birthday party with three. Boxes in Walgreens bags. <laughs> Your dad stopped and just picked you the three shittiest three for twenty toys that he could find. But last it, second, isn't that what Five Below is for? Like that's substituted the the whole point of going to Walgreens and buying toys or all this shit. I it's still like, haven't been. You haven't been to Five mm. Below. It's great. <laughs> I don't know. What? You just blew his shoes. <laughs> that's what you said last time. Hold on. Five Below. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I've only been a couple uh, oh, times, so I'm, I'm more in your camp. But I do see that's the where value. I found the little Bluetooth thing that we have at the Air T and D. Yeah, it's I, Five Below. I, Andrea loves it. She goes oh. there, and, and arguably she can find some pretty amazing stuff. But oh. I've only been once, and I thought it was kind of. I got of, a Fraggle Rock T-shirt there for five bucks. Ooh, kind of flea worldy. It, it's the Target version of the dollar store. And it's all scrunched down (laughs) into one small store. It's great. Yeah, yeah. And like because they uh, set the price point at five, they can have a lot more options. But (laughs) but they do have some stuff in there that's more expensive. And I hate that. When I get up there and you have that magnetic telescopic wand for me to get screws out of my engine, I don't want it to be $12. (laughs) I want it to be $5. Don't lie to me. Now, five below or raw stress for less? Because I I do raw stress for less quite a bit. For fun and for people watching, Ross. I think you gotta go Ross. Five below, you get a lot of cheerleader dancer moms in there, and they're all buying, like, we need 15 bracelets because there's 15 girls on your competition team. It's that kind of bullshit. It is the clearance rack of stores. It's mostly trash, <laughs> but every once in a while you yeah. find some fucking dollar bill socks. And but you're I, good like, to go. I like Marshalls because you'll walk through and you'll see, like, a lime green, um, like, FUBU hockey jersey, <laughs> and then you'll keep walking, and then there's an open box crock pot. <laughs> I like that too. I like that there's a lot of weird stuff in like a. I, l- I really love the kitchen department at like Ross or Marshall's. To this day, Dan, at Ross Dress for Less in like 2005, my wife would not let me buy the. Harlem Globetrotters uh, shorts jogging suit. What? <laughs> and. I the still bring real it, thing? I still bring it up in face. Probably not, but it was like a jogging like a suit with, like, with like all the Globe Trotters fucking patches all over it. I'm still mad about that. <laughs> there, I mean, Lime Green the, Fubu brought it back to me. <laughs> that would literally be the yes. best thing for you yeah, right now. I'm yeah. gonna have to try and find that mm. online. Mm. Where, there used to be, uh, I don't know if it fell out of style or whatever. And like speaking of Daniel being into like uh, minor league baseball. Oh, I'm way into minor. But, I'm full achieving full old man. When I used to work at Champ Sports, every once in a while we get in these expensive ass like they were like eighty eight bucks, uh, like full, uh, like like faux leather uh, Those bomber NASCAR jackets. jackets. Yeah, but like NASCAR jackets, but they had patches of every single like old baseball league yeah. of like uh, like you know from back in the day or whatever like uh, baseball they leagues were that are folded extremely or like, expensive. Yeah, yeah, and then I was like, who is like. $88 old baseball patch jacket, and people loved them. I yeah. love stuff with patches on it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I like patches, too, but I don't know how to sew, so I just have patches. I have a shitload of patches, too. Yeah. And the other thing for me is, like, what am I going to sew them on? Like, once you commit, you're stuck in that thing forever, you I, know? Like, I found, and because I've lost weight, I found my old Dickies jacket that when I... First had bought my 1959 Vespa, like, you know, 15 years ago, whatever. It was the one that I would wear on cold days. It's just a regular, like a $19 Walmart Dickies 
quilted line jacket and I sewed all these Vespa patches on it or I had like a lady at a motorcycle shop do it and I and I can fit it in it again and I'm like ah, I should probably start putting patches back on this again because it, it it is cool I, there was a part like there's a moment in time where I thought I would get all these Orlando City patches because they sell like collective patches now and get them sewn on like a jean jacket vest and I would wear my jean jacket vest to the city matches but I never did it I wanted to get a vest like uh, fucking uh, one of the guys on Metalocalypse has. Yes. Uh, Murderface. I want to get yes. Murderface's fucking vest, but you can't find it. It no. doesn't exist. Too hard to find. Um, are there any more stories? Or should we I got one okay. for you. Uh, the U.S. Army. I don't know if you can remember uh, World War II. Uh, uh, 1945. Yeah. Remotely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Italy. A little, yeah. uh, little girl named Mary Mion. Uh, 1945. She was about to celebrate her 13th birthday. They spent the night before uh, in the attic. Because there was a shelling happening. They were trying to stay out of the way of the flack. Uh, but that morning, her mom woke up and baked her a cake for her 13th birthday. And uh, the U.S. Army came along and stole it out of the window. <laughs> a bunch of U.S. soldiers came along. Oh, stole it. Right. That's like in cartoons. <laughs> like, like tramps in a Three Stooges movie. They stole it. Yeah, you take the pie off the window. So <laughs> they stole the golden that. cake out of the window and, uh, and ate it. And apparently, she's never fucking forgot about it. The Army made it up to her on fr- uh, today. Uh, it's her 90th birthday today. Happy birthday, Mary. And the Army got her a 90th birthday cake. The oh, U.S. I, Army. I hate this. <laughs> yeah, I knew you would hate this man. And then they put, the time. they put it on the windowsill. They put it on the windowsill. Get to work. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You give us an old lady a cake. They used to, that. I mean, they were uh, going through your town uh, trying to fight the enemy. 19 uh, U.S. soldiers killed, several tanks destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they were hungry for some cake. You should have been like, oh, I right. watched my friends die. <laughs> Give me the cake. Is uh, it like that? It was her 13th birthday, Tom. Come on, man. You know, I always I hated when my mom would bake a cake. I'd be like, oh, shit. It's going to taste like shit. Dude, like, my mom would do legit. She made me like a He Man cake one time that looked like Castle Grayskull. My oh, mom could do cool. a legit cake, but that only lasted like eight, and then she stopped. Yeah, that. like I never got, like when my mom would bake cake, they're all right, but like I always liked it when I got like a big, like a money cake. Like, give me, buy me a cake. That's both, what I want. Both my grandfathers fought in World War II. Yeah. Uh, but they fought. Opposite our, sides, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. They, they, no, they were both Nazis. They, they uh, were in the Navy, and they were in the Pacific. Uh, you know, against yeah, yeah. Japan, yeah. and I was always a little bit disappointed that they didn't fight the Nazis because, like, not as impressive. Well, because the Nazis what about, like, are still to this day considered like evil. They're you know evil Nazis, and oh, you like, still hear about them. I mean, there's but, points on both sides. <laughs> yeah. the, so do you hear like it goes like the Nazis. fact that it was the Japanese? I was like, oh, we're. Or, you know, they were cool with them. Now it's weird that you fought them. It was like, <laughs> like you're, right. you're right. The level it's of, weird that you fought Japan. The level you I would understand. want it to go would be like Nazi and then like Mussolini, right? And that whole, right? Because it would be Hitler, Mussolini, and then, you know, Japan after yeah. that. I mean, Mussolini. Yeah, Hirohito, who maybe. was that? Mussolini kind of out of the mix early. Though. Early on. Because yeah. I, I know it was Germany, but everybody just refers to it as you're fighting the Nazis. So mm-hmm. it's like universally, it never. Uh, you know, like uh, we're time now. It's the weird. Axis, this, the you, thing you about fought the Japanese. The uh-huh. thing about Japan versus Germany, though, like we when we when we took Germany, that was a taking. Like we had to go in there and take it, and we did it, and Russia did it, and we kind of had to split it. Japan gave up. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, surrendered, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and I told my wife that it was kind of just us there, and we <laughs> kind of made the rules, and it was it was a little easier. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, it's like uh, just a little bit cooler if you fight the Nazis. That was all. I agree. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the stereotype. It's what you want. It's like when you go to the car lot, right? And you want to buy the you want to buy I don't know a Jeep and then they're like oh we're all out of Jeeps you can get though you can get like this uh, Jeep uh, Durango whatever like some variation of it and you're uh-huh. like all oh, right that's cool too <laughs> but <laughs> it's not, not as, as cool as out. Nazi. Um, anything else, Ross? Um, uh, we got a report on uh, Iranian executions. All right. Ooh, they're up this year. <laughs> oh <my laughs> they're God. up. I, I feel like in they're that. up every year. Twenty five percent. Three hundred thirty three people put to death. Which I feel like that they, didn't seem like a lot. I feel yeah. like they shot for that. Uh, uh, most of the offenses drug related. They're real bad on uh, drug smuggling over there. You can also get executed for enmity against God, corruption on Earth. So watch, don't do that in Iran. <laughs> corruption. And then uh, I think this is why I put this story. I, I don't even remember why I thought this was funny. But uh, there's also they were gonna they were gonna this lady killed her abusive husband. Okay. Uh, they're, they're, she's sentenced to be executed. She has a heart attack. Oh my Watching God. them hang other guys. They hang her anyway. The whole, like after she dies. Oh, oh my! Overkill. Hey, overkill. You are not getting out of this. <laughs> yeah. 
It did, uh, Iran. Uh, who wants to go there? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Iran. Who wants to go? <laughs> and then the only other story I think I had for you guys. Did you guys? Uh, it's it's kind of old at this point. Uh-huh. Did, did you guys? And I would hate to get political. Did you guys see Joe Biden and the Easter Bunny? No. no. Really? This is new to you? Yeah. Dan, Google it up. I'll just give you a little quick verbal summary of what's happening no, in the no. video you're about to see. Uh, Joe Biden, I think it was like, I think they call it the Easter egg roll at the White House. They like, instead of hiding eggs, they like roll them for the kids. Yeah, the Easter roll. So the, he's doing the, um. Where the, did they roll them? I, like they roll them towards? No, I, they, it's like a race. You roll the eggs and, you know, and then you got to keep rolling them, I think. Because I don't think you can have like kids poking around in the bushes at the White House, basically, is what it boils yeah, down to. Yeah, they can't be know, hiding like, eggs everywhere. They're like, oh, you're near, oh, that egg's near the sniper. You found the hundred dollars. <laughs> right. There's some kind of laser turret in the goddamn Rose Garden. <laughs> oh. You can't have a kid go up and poke his fucking finger into it, you know, okay. like, so, so they they like roll eggs out for these kids to like chase and get, and it's been a tradition. Joe Biden's doing it. Uh, he's like, he's you know overseeing. Oh my god! He starts talking to some reporters. A reporter asks him a question. I think about Afghanistan, and he starts to answer, and then this happens. Okay, here, here's the here's the old Joe. Pakistan should not, and Afghanistan should be. All the Easter Bunny, Mr. President. So Biden starts to answer a question about Afghanistan, like kind of off the cuff to these reporters. The Easter Bunny walks up, grabs him by the shoulder, turns him around, and ushers him away from the room. <laughs> oh, yeah. there's like a secret service yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that bunny's like, shut up, shut up, yeah, shut yeah, up, right, shut yeah. up. <laughs> Officer, oh shit, they're asking him questions. He's still rambling on. Get him out of get here. Him, get Agent him. Hippity Hop. You are a go. Agent Hippity Hop. <laughs> get him out of there. <laughs> by the way, who's the people asking him the question? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he's at the Easter thing. They're, they're setting him up. They're trolling him, right? They're like, oh, let's uh, we'll see what he says. Yeah, 100 percent uh, um all right oh god that's good. oh and uh yeah other uh, we'll do the other side too uh trump got back, uh, got on his fucking truth social media he uh he was never on there well he was he, he well i it, thought that was his thing it was he like he he, he I, they call it it's not tweeting it's true thing right so okay. he he truth like one time when they started it and again you, uh, my, my wife is taking a shit so i can't look this story up i'm just uh, from my brain if i'm getting it wrong he, he did do like one truth that was like, hey, it's me. I'm going to, this is the new thing. And then he's been like silent since like late February. And then yesterday, I think because Elon's like got Twitter in the news, yeah. Twitter's yeah, out yeah. right now. He, uh, Trump truthed again and he said, I'm back! Exclamation point. Hashtag Kofavi. What is, what is Do that? Do you not remember what that was? Yeah. When this man was president one night. I remember that. He was, he was in his fucking, um, he's, in the, he's in the Oval Office watching Monkey TV or whatever the fuck they had set up for him. <laughs> and he like, he fell asleep on his phone and he tweeted out the word Kofevi, which is not a word. It right. doesn't mean uh-huh. anything. But when the president tweets it out, what the, it was the news yeah. for like a fucking well, it was week and like, a half. It was the password that Q needed to start the thing. <laughs> yeah, it, it whatever like you thing. wanted. It was like a Rorschach test. Whatever you wanted to put yeah. against it, you it was fucking, it. yeah. 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 It, but he trolled now. He, he rolled into it. Now he's he's taking it back. Okay, you got it. <laughs> you got to laugh when you laugh, right? I think it's funny. He put that at the end of his tweet. That or his truth. I think that's funny. I, it's I weird. But it's, <laughs> it's funny. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but as I get older, I I start realizing more conservative and angry <laughs> with the world. I see it in you. Yelling no, at I no, see it in you. You didn't like Ross's uh, <laughs> liberal ass socks. Yeah. You're like, look at those liberal ass currency. socks. I hate politics at all. Oh, yeah, we Tom's all hate capitalist. It. He likes the socks. I, yeah, <laughs> I like the socks too. They're but dope. As I get older, I start just looking around and be like, "Oh, it's all just a bunch of bullshit." Yes, <laughs> yes. 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 It's all, no one, everybody, yeah, like Johnny Depp is shit in the bed. <laughs> so he did. I know. Yeah, but his poo poo is no one knows nothing. You know what all I've been doing all night? I can't tweeting out. It doesn't matter. I can't not do this. I was laying in bed last night. And I must have said this phrase about a thousand times. Just laying there, quiet with Andrea, and I'd be like. Uh, pardon the expression, a uh, grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> and I would just do that all night. All night talking about shitting in the bed. God, <laughs> why haven't I been watching more of that? It, it's not even something that normally happens. Like, oh, yeah, my oh, my ex-girlfriend shit in my bed. <laughs> it's like, this doesn't happen. Like, That's what he, he said. It's, it was bizarre <laughs> that I had to laugh. <laughs> but, like, no one shits in other people's beds. Like, e- anybody I, here I bet shit- Seth has. Yeah, yes. Is anybody here shit in a bed? No. Like, I've never even heard of it. Uh, like, uh, even- never have. 
I've peed a bed. Yeah, I'm a human. Okay. Humans pee the bed. I've also I've heard of people like peeing on other people's beds as jokes. Uh, like you know, um, I've heard of that. That's not funny. They, I've Seth heard of- told that story about. Remember, he had a roommate one time, and then they threw a party, and then everybody just went and started pissing all over his bed. Yeah. It's not a joke. It was a <laughs> ball, like, <laughs> yeah. a bullied in by yeah, peeing on his mattress. Yeah, and, yeah it's terrible. It's a, you know what boys do? I uh, <laughs> yeah, it's locker room talk. I um, yeah, I've never shit. I've shit in the woods. I've shit in toilets. I've shit in the ocean while surfing. I'm trying to really answer like this question. Like weirdest places you've yeah, shit? Yeah, I have, uh, I've never shit off a bridge like Andy or anything okay, like that. Okay, ocean shit is good too. Ocean it just shit flows right away. feels it's like good. you get a lot of shit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me ask you this. Like on TikTok every once in a while, uh, I'll see- You like, on TikTok? Do you like TikTok? I, I haven't got it on the new phone yet. I'm, I'm, there, eh, I'm, there are, I'm, I'm on the fence. It. For some reason, this uh, seems to happen more at grocery stores, but uh, there's tons of surveillance uh, oh, footage yeah. Of and there's always uh, like a middle aged woman. It is where she walks, uh, like she's walking it by. Like a, it looks like a middle school teacher. And then she's looking around, like she has some extreme bout of IBS or whatever. And then she squats down <laughs> and either pulls her pants down, or uh, I saw one the other day where she pulled it or like shorts <laughs> to the side. I don't yes. think I was that talented. I think <laughs> I would just shit my shorts sideways. And dude. then she just shot <laughs> a logaria <laughs> onto the a floor. A logaria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where it was like some like combo log and diarrhea. Yeah. Log- <laughs> Logaria. I've never heard that. <laughs> yeah, you just it. Fear of such <laughs> shit. Fear. Well, when it hits the ground, it, it actually, you know, it doesn't stay. This is the most poetic you've ever been. But it's always by like the smaller, uh, like the frozen uh, food frozen section. Frozen yeah, food yeah. Yeah. The, the, the short, the freezers. short one. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and then she shits on the floor and gets up and then continues on and no one finds the you know obviously they found it later and then w- watched the tape or whatever but so what <laughs> okay so let me ask you this this person obviously was having an emergency <laughs> and they, they was gonna shit their pants right so what like they did that and then walked away now I guess you should have maybe notified no someone, but no why why would you do that run away. They, well, what's the proper thing to do <laughs> run away, <laughs> run away. <laughs> yeah. but I mean like if you were trying to do the right thing there is the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> like what's the right thing? Hold it. No, but yeah, he's right. The right thing is no, to I hold couldn't. it. Go to the bathroom. I, you know what? I don't believe the couldn't. This motherfucker for years has been giving me in my car. He's like, oh, I'm going to pee your car. They cannot be stopped. And I'm like, <laughs> you're fucking an adult. I, hold your piss. I found uh, your the muscles. Lo- get the up. video well, you're talking about and. Not only does she pull her shorts to the side, they're jean shorts. <laughs> yeah, no gift. That is hard to do. Yeah, hard to do. You're, not gonna get any, yeah, yeah. you're not gonna get any extra expanse yeah. off of those jeans. There's nothing there. The same amount of energy that takes, clench your cheeks together like diamonds <laughs> and waddle to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Just waddle to the bathroom. Sometimes, like, I don't know. I don't she also had a bag in her hand. Take whatever's in the bag. Shit oh, in the bag. Yeah, in the bag. Yeah, shit yeah, in the yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, Not in you're front right. of people, though. Well, there was that one homeless guy that, remember, was in the New, New York subway system, and, he, and there was a guy mopping, and he just said, I got a shit, and he just shit in the guy's bucket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's got, you know, he's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, there's that, that too. Uh, well, maybe he's a CB4 fan. <laughs> he likes to lick it, he likes to suck it. Man, CB4, got to revisit that. <laughs> well said. If we're what talking about- uh, viral videos, uh, this one kind of came and went, <laughs> and I don't think it got enough play. Did you guys see that clip of uh, the Kardashian show? Where no. okay, this is my favorite thing that's ever happened in history. <laughs> oh, From right. like George Washington dinosaurs, this is wow. it. Okay, uh, Kim Kardashian, her son comes up to her. I don't know which one it is. One of her sons comes up to her. He's like five, six years old, something like that. Okay, uh, ambulatory talking comes up with an iPad. He says, "Mommy, look, mommy, look," and he's like laughing, right? And he shows her the iPad. He's playing Roblox, and he stumbled across a game in Roblox where like you can watch the Kim K uh, porn video, right? And like the ent- it's like a it's like an entryway you have to go through or something. And it's Kim Kardashian's face and she's crying. And so the kid comes up and he's like, "Mommy, look, mommy, look, it's you." And Kim takes it and looks at it and she f- she figures out that this is like the porn tape and she uh-huh. starts fucking freaking out. Right? She goes to like she goes to this shoe closet that's bigger than most people's houses uh-huh. and calls Kanye West on the phone. Right? And she goes, uh, "Kanye, uh, she's crying. She's like, I can't believe your son came and this. It's online. I can't believe it." And then she says. A phrase that I will never forget. She says, "Thank God he can't read." <laughs> she says, "She says, thank God he can't read, or he would have been really so he would have, you know, figured out what it was." And like just her, yeah, one, it's her one of the most bit. famous people on the planet, the one of the richest people on the planet, saying, "Thank God my six-year-old <laughs> six-year-old son, son cannot read, or they'd find my porno." <laughs> 
<laughs> Kanye, if you're listening right now, I will come to New York and read to your kids. You just oh pay for the flight God. and wow. uh, and uh, do all you know expenses, and I will read to your. I'll read that them. went from super funny to also sort of sad in a heartbeat. I I would love to read to Kanye's kids until they learn how to read. I'm uh, no problem. So when those kids, it's Roblox too, and like, then they apparently they banned the developer that was a mega fan that wove this into the game. This is, is that right? bigger than we think. Like, oh yeah, I, and, and they're scraping. I, li- <laughs> I literally have seen that one clip. But they're it. scraping that clip because I can't find it. Like oh. I can't find the one, and they're all over it because even the links I'm hitting right now are gone. Because that was her thing. She's like, Kanye, do something, get rid of this, he and is. like, and He's the- doing what he can. I think. <laughs> wow. So, so when your mom has a porno out there, like you for sure never look at it. Ask but, me anything. But one of your uh, dickhead friends tries oh, yeah. to show it Absolutely. to you by surprise. Well, especially right? when your mom's Kim fucking Kardashian, yeah. right? Uh, like yeah. you know, yeah. if like. One of us was just going to high school, and our mom did porn in like the seventies. You don't want to see Pro- my mom. Probably never even comes up. <laughs> yeah, like, what are the odds like somebody stumbles across that VHS tape or something? You know, yeah. not Dan, obviously, not yeah. Dan, but yeah. But then someone will print out the picture. Like, you'll see it somehow, right? Throughout your whole you're, life, you're friends with fucking frame it and have it on their wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we <laughs> openly talked. Man, this, I shouldn't say that. Yeah, I'm gonna say it because this happened. <laughs> we openly talked in the drum line about which drummer's mom was the hottest yeah yeah, yeah openly yeah yeah, yeah 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 and for sure you all your friends watch it and have seen it was well, kim kardashian um this uh we'll end with this uh, hold on i'm sending him the video oh you <laughs> found, found it. it great great <laughs> i know if you can anybody find it, it you'll find it It reminded me of the best prank daniel ever played on me which was uh back when uh I don't even it remember. was it was popular to burn you dressed up like lady and cat uh, <laughs> <people> like <laughs> <what>? <laughs> no go, like burn dvd movies off limewire or whatever it was like it was oh, like yeah. some torrent site and daniel was all you know always uh, you know, well, the forefront of technology. So I at the radio station, digital was like, pervert. Hey, get me! I forgot what movie it was. I've told the story before, but it was like, uh, um, uh, Fast and Furious Six, or like some yes. movie. It was something like that. Yeah. Or it was like, uh, you know, uh, Night at the Museum the Four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, whatever was out at the movie theater. This was before Robin Williams passing. And he Night put, at the Museum 4, they were done to the <laughs> library. It kind of sucked. Yeah. <laughs> he, he put Night at the Museum 4 and Sharpie on the, the DVD. And, and then I invited my mother-in-law and my <laughs> sister-in-law yeah. and my mom. And they sat down <laughs> yeah. on the couch in Deltona. And I'm like, hey, my buddy gets me, gives me these stuff. This is still yeah, on the he's movie. he got theater. all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, like, I this got is, the holler if you hook I like, got the hook up. Like, you holler are, if you hear me. This is... Literally right now, only in theaters, and we're watching it in my living room in Deltona. So just you know, that's the kind yeah. of yank I have. Put it in, <laughs> Mr. Camelton. <laughs> yeah, it was Mr. Camelton. And it just, the, just the, for the yeah, just the logo of Mr. Camelton. Mr. Camelton, which is. <laughs> The Mr. Camel And then it starts hot because the guy's always like, all right, pull that toe up real tight. Get it real tight. No, oh. yeah, it play, to the, but it is the uh, like a young woman pulling. Yeah, pull that toe tight. Her bicycle shorts yeah, pull up. Them, pull them tight. God damn it. I thought it was dude's camel toes and I had a job. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I had to, uh, oh, got me good. You want to take a little break? Yep. All right. The name of the band is Sweet Pill. I gotta head over to CVS and get my my new anxiety medication. So there's a reminder. Don't go to John's line. The no, I will not. The name of this uh, song is High Hopes. We'll be back with more a mediocre time momentarily. One eight four four T O M N D A N. We'll be right back. Oh, they didn't do a big... I wanted a big cymbal crash at the end. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Um, we were talking in the break, uh, looking at who was at the improv, and Ross was like, oh, you, the comedians don't come in anymore. I'm like, not really, and if they do, no. it's Zoom, and uh, you know that whole thing has changed. Good thing we know. built out a studio. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we were looking at the improv list, and Tracy Morgan is on slate for yeah. the Orlando Improv. Then we all started talking. I'll about, allow it because they do have a slate and they, <laughs> they do use it. Is like, wh- I wonder why Tracy Morgan is is just for the love of stand up because obviously. That's what you know, I would have to assume. Or is he practicing to do a special? Like it is he, called the know, Working It Out Tour. Uh-huh. 
So, yeah, I mean, Ross yeah. knows, I mean, you, you know, like comedians, bigger comedians will go to smaller clubs to work out their act. And then before Fucking they did a guest special. spot for Bobby Slayton trying to work out five minutes for Jimmy Kimmel one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he did his five minutes and then he made fun of a kid in the front row for like an hour. Now, oh, really? <laughs> the, the, uh, the obviously he got that huge settlement from Walmart over the accident and he should have obviously. But uh, I, I'm guessing the huge settlement was based on. The fact that he got so injured that he couldn't work or he couldn't, you know, like th- right. that, that's part of that's why, like, yeah. you know, if it wasn't Tracy Morgan, the settlement wouldn't have been that big because you have to prove that, uh, you know, uh, How, what what your losses were, what your yeah. losses are. And then Tracy Morgan, see, he makes millions of dollars. So it's like, that's why it's so big. My kid got in an accident a couple of years ago and we got like this big <laughs> summary. And one of the things was like this lady uh, estimated like how much the pain would cost her per hour for the rest of her life. Uh, it was a neat calculation. Wow. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. She, yeah, that's me. First of all, when you were going to fucking die and then what your pain is worth. <laughs> they And that's why a lot of the that's times, nuts. like pain and suffering, <laughs> they put a cap on. There's a lot of stuff like that. But anyway, so... Would if you were Walmart, would you say like, wait a minute, he's back out there working again? And then oh, I didn't think about that. And then if he's doing, if he does a special and he is just like, let's say, comparable to where where he was before, could you make the argument like, well, we gave him a bunch of money because he couldn't work, he's doing it. I mean, I know that's ridiculous. Uh, but, no, no, you know I think that's how I think that's how attorneys think. I I think you're not being ridiculous. I think that's how like soulless. Big corporations do think like that, right? If I'm his counter attorney, I'm going to say, well, he's not doing 30 Rock and TV shows, and he hasn't made the push to movies now. He's, he's back to now. doing. He's back yeah. to doing fucking what clubs you, okay, in Orlando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know maybe that's okay. What if that's why he's booking smaller venues? Because if he booked bigger venues, <laughs> it would appear as if he's just making fine. a ton of money. Yeah. Well, I just why even do it though, right? There also is a thing boredom. Where yeah. People like a lot of times we get uh, good comedians here in Orlando because they want to take their families to Disney. That's true. That a lot of guys oh, come through the Orlando <laughs> improv. Yeah, but just take them to Disney, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 but yeah, if, yeah. But you um, could take them to Disney and also get a sweet, sweet payday and have a working weekend and get most of your shit comped because yeah. like somebody in the audience on the first night is gonna be like, "I work at Disney. I'll fucking give you tickets or whatever." You know, like you got Disney. He's got ninety million dollars. He doesn't need help, dude. <laughs> yeah, but like, people that have ninety million dollars don't think like that. that he wasn't like that. allowed to work anymore after he got the money. No, no. Uh, so it's whatever. Yeah, every yeah. every no. podcast out of L. A. in the last two weeks has been like remembering. Gilbert Gottfried and every story is about how fucking cheap he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had money. He had tons yeah, of money. Right. Yeah, and then like every story is about how like he would go, he would do shows that like he would go do charity events because he knew there was a meal involved. Like he'd go do <laughs> Howard Stern. <laughs> yeah. He'd go That's do Howard insane. Stern and empty the bagel bag into his fucking um, knapsack on the yeah. way out. Like, and stuff they loved like that. it. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Love, they, <laughs> yeah. they they deliberately like yeah. set up places for him to conveniently steal food. <laughs> All right, at that point, aren't you kind of making fun of someone's mental illness? <laughs> like, I mean, I make fun of my own <laughs> mental illness. I mean, I guess you gotta <laughs> laugh at it, right? I right. heard somebody tell a story about Gilbert Garfield rolling into like a club on a Monday, and he ordered like a week's worth of Chinese food the first night. And they just kept it in his hotel room and fucking ate it. And then uh, they picked him up to take him. He had a bag full of Chinese food. He was taking on the plane. <laughs> well, at that point, ah, it's a week old. It's sad. It's like it's not even like oh he's thrifty. It's like oh this guy is point being ill. rich people don't always spend. It. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah, true. I know. Yeah, Seth's yeah, yeah. cheap as hell. You want to do dump them yeah. out? Let's do them. All yeah. right, here we go. Dump, 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 On the list today, it's the end of the motherfucking show. So come on, baby, let's dump them out and play. I wanna see your topics. Ooh, I wanna also see your bottom mix. <laughs> <laughs> dump them out, brought to you by me. The salesperson for Tom and Dan. If you want to advertise, uh, contact yeah. Tom at TomandDan.com. Oh, what? That was yeah, yeah. That was that a little like, cringy. I like it. <laughs> it it was cringy? a little cringy, <laughs> I, I, but I enjoyed it. You know what? No post, though. So <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> I'm saying uh, our advertising works pretty well, and if you're looking for a uh, place to do it, uh, just email me and we'll talk. Yep. At Tom at TomandDan.com. Let's, uh, let's start with this guy right here. What's up, Tom and Dan? This is uh, BDM Small Wiener Air Force Ian. 
Uh, <laughs> I've been listening to you guys now for a few years. I love the show. Never had any complaints. But uh, this, the drop them out song, I don't know. It's the, it's the only thing in your guys' podcast where when I'm listening to it, because um, I only listen to the recorded shows, I always skip through it. I do, I do appreciate the bottom mix joke. I think that's a nice, that's a nice fresh hit, but, uh, a fresh yeah, hit. I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like Dan's always coming up with some sick songs, but drop them out. It's just, drop them out. It's just not it. The old drop them out. Love you guys. Uh, Tom, you have beautiful hair. Wish I could kiss it. Uh, yep, that's it. Drop them out. It's dump them out, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Wait, it's just the intro to a bit. It's uh, so, super catchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not according to that guy. Not according to <laughs> Tiny Air Force Wiener Eric or whatever. At least it's not, and this is every other podcast on earth, at least it's not a 90s parody to introduce your fucking band. <laughs> that's a lot of those. Yeah. I understand that, those. but that's good. At least it's some funky jazz. It's good. And the bottom yeah. mix, that was going like, to be my kind it's of It's original. Point. It's just it's it's, Yeah, I tried to just do it's it original. Why does he want to kiss Tom's hair? <laughs> it's weird. Uh, Who doesn't want to kiss Tom's hair? <laughs> also, <laughs> like, I feel like we shouldn't do any intros to any bits because it's just like, just get to it. Yeah. We all know. Get it yeah, over yeah. with. <laughs> but I agree. Also, no bits. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. But, no show. But <laughs> I agree. When I uh, am listening to podcasts and they don't do the intro to their bit, I get no, upset. I'm, get like, I'm like, where's uh, the intro? Oh, God. Like, That's guess, why they wanted we, time for bath. They were changed. pissed. I cut the, like, the, the regular intro out. I cut all that out. We went to just like a... Boom, 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 boom. And then we were in the show, and people were like, "Fuck you, Dan! You're an idiot! Uh, you fucked it all up!" Yeah. And then we try to change some recording dates no, around. And this people, is it. This people is... like they're stuck in their ways. Yep. They it like, has to stay. And like that's like this. fine. That's fine. I'll, we'll just uh, we try to change it up. We're like, "Hey, man, this is bad." No, we'll st- we'll just stick to our ways and do it the way we've always done. Yeah, yep. never and, change anything. And everybody no. gets a card. Yeah. <laughs> That too. Don't talk about. It. Um, let's start with. Uh, well, we Are we have doing the, dump them out. Yeah, or? well, I had voicemails too. Oh, Sorry. Okay. Yeah, go dump them out. Drop them out. Um, roadside fruit stands. Yeah, where are we at with roadside fruit I stands? I see them every once in a while. Well, as a kid, that's where I got all my tomatoes. Like any corn we ever ate. Um, my mom and dad were notorious for wanting now two we have items. Farmers markets, right? But Everybody just goes to the farmers. No, market. we we had two items that my mom and dad were searching for for hamburgers. Tomato mm. and onion. Oh. Those were the two items. Your dad didn't like lettuce, right? He did like lettuce, but not on things. He would like to okay. eat an entire head of lettuce with salt in a bowl. I did that last night. It's fun. <laughs> I did you know what? Lettuce and no salt. salt. What, so you, you yeah. trying to make me love you more? What, you trying to turn into my dad? Grow a mustache. I'll kiss <laughs> your face. All white men turn face. into this, right? You're eating heads of lettuce with salt. <laughs> salt. Yeah, 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 lettuce with salt. In a, you got to eat it in a big Tupperware bowl. My dad would set the head of lettuce in there. He'd wash it. Set the head of lettuce in there. Get a salt shaker like <laughs> Jimmy John. Or no, who was it? Yeah. What do you mean? Or no, not Jimmy Johnson. The owner of the um oh um oh the owner of the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jerry Jones. Jerry, Jerry Jones. Jones. Yeah. And my dad would salt one bib lettuce leaf, and he'd pull it off, and he <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd salt another, and <laughs> and he'd be watching wrestling. I feel like that's just a way for him to eat salt. <laughs> like you know, like it's he a needs, vehicle for salt. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's like embarrassing just to pour salt in your mouth. So you have to. I mean, if it's on lettuce, you're like, oh, I'm salty. Jokes on you. My dad would pour salt <laughs> in his mouth. Here's why the roadside stand is better than the farmer's market. Because the farmer's market, you have to pay to be involved in that, and especially yeah. like Lake Eola's farmer's market. Like I think it's there. Uh, like they charge a a lot. To, because it's so popular and so many people go through there. So then they have to charge more for what they're selling. Also, they don't sell produce. They sell like Twin Peaks pins and candles. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's, like it's, brick, not, it's bric-a-brac. It's yeah. not tomatoes yeah. and onions. Yeah, I'm, I want like <laughs> things I can actually use. I'm walking around here like, would you like a dog collar that has a New York Jets on it? I'm like, no, go fuck yourself. I want a tomato and an onion. Yes. That's have all you I want. ever sold anything roadside? Uh, uh ye- Possibly in soccer. Possibly in soccer. I miss the turtle guy roadside <laughs> because there used to be there's turtles a, and roses. There's a rabbit guy. Yeah. Like baby rabbits? Yeah. Oh, oh no. I'll buy a, a roadside rabbit. Yeah. Mm. Is that on 436? Because that's where the turtle goes. We're talking about, like it's a sex toy, right? No, yeah, yeah. The roadside rabbit. The, and then yeah. there's, um, <clears throat> like, you see the flowers, like, 
I don't trust flower those guys. Stands. Where do those guys get those? I don't know. But it's always orchids. Yeah, it's always <laughs> orchids. Aren't they poisonous? <clears throat> Isn't the orchid like a? Po- isn't, if you give an orchid no. to somebody, you're to letting dogs. them. No, no, no. I thought if oh, you I gave, didn't know that. I thought I like so. ceremonial. If you give an orchid to somebody yeah. in like Asian culture, that's you're wishing a thousand deaths <laughs> upon their family souls. Well, every other house plant is poisonous to dogs uh-huh. because like I I see that like on you know. Uh, uh, they all come with warnings like, "Don't let your dog eat this dumb cane; it'll uh, start frothing up in the mouth and die." Dumb cane. Yeah, yeah. It's like those, and like most house plants are poisonous to dogs. Just let your dog eat dog food, man. <clears throat> yeah. The for him, uh, I've heard. The rug guy with Tupac rug. I miss that guy. Bob Marley rug. See, all these people differ from the fruit stand, though, in that they don't have a stand. They're just like working out of the back of their fucking yeah. van. Yeah. The yeah, fruit yeah. stand guy has a little bit of infrastructure. It's minimal. It's minimal infrastructure, yeah, yeah. but he's got some tables out front. You know what you know? I've always liked about the roadside guy, though, is he has a piece of plywood that's painted white, Yeah, and then he painted, like, the sign or, like, a tomato or something on it. Peanuts. And it's been used so much. Yes, P-nuts. <laughs> and then it's been used so much <laughs> that the edges of it are round. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I love, there's something very charming about that. The way it's just engineered, and he's under like a makeshift lean-to kind of a thing, and he's got the boiled peanuts with the potatoes and the baby corn God's and sake. carrots in it. Yeah, it's awesome, man. He's also been using the sign for seven and a half years yeah. and took no time no. or effort into it. <laughs> like he, he it, Don't need to. Yeah, the, and it lasted a long-ass time. <laughs> the paint from the word peanuts is dripping down because yeah. he used too much, and it's it's all had to go fast. different letters. It's like... He, you knew that you were going to use yeah. this for a while. You took no time and effort into mm-hmm. like making it look good. But no first, time. You're in such a rush that first day. But it lasts longer than fast signs. If you'd have gone to fast signs and gotten it made. It no. would have, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gonna, I'm telling you that roadside, that plywood and paint. In the sun. Better. Oh, yeah. But, but it, you, I mean, you could have. Like outlined it in black, the peanut. Like done something. Like you couldn't okay, have spent you can fifteen do that for more yours. minutes. You do that for yours. <laughs> like fifteen more minutes. <laughs> Is there a reason? Like, did he want to look at like every or- peanut guy in the world? Got everything together that day. Got out to the road. Got set up, and it was like fuck a yeah. sign. Yeah, <laughs> had to find a piece of wood on the side yeah. of the road. Had a little bit of paint in the back of his Zuzu pickup, and he just slapped that sign together real quick. Because you're going to use it for the next seven years. <laughs> no, same yeah. sign. It's perfectly to. fine. Because <laughs> your, your your real love and where you were spending your time was on yeah. the spices and the mixture. Do I put a dash of beer in there? Do I not put a dash of beer? That's in there? exactly me and Bart go out to lunch all the time. We go to a barbecue place and we get barbecue, and I see a shitty bun next to the barbecue. I'm like, perfect. They didn't give a fuck about the bread. They put all their time and effort into this barbecue. Yeah. Perfect. But they had, He's right. Meat over bread all day long. They had 15 minutes in between something. You're like, something. Okay, right? while, while there were no customers, you could have improved the sign. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'm just saying, you know, it didn't like bother you over the years of like, man, I should just get a better sign, like uh, something fancier, or like at least take it some little... More time into writing peanuts. Oh, man, we have a boiled peanut hater in the chat room. What? I, boiled peanuts are, are they are, de- you hate them too? I can't do them. Yeah, really? see, this is what I'm talking about. You, that's what I was talking about earlier. There that's are not customer things, service. I know, but I mean, like, you are hard to please, I think, sometimes. That's not true. Like, what do you just hate make, about them? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't like the consistency. You don't, don't like that? Like you don't like any seafood? Do you like regular peanuts? Yes. Nothing spicy. Yeah, I can eat regular peanuts. I don't like the soggy boiled peanuts. They're not soggy. <laughs> The so shell's I'm, soggy, but you're not eating the shell. No, yeah, yeah. I don't. But I don't even want to touch it. And like, you got to suck the juice out of the shell. That's the best part. <laughs> yeah, it is the best part. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. And at that point, you're they just look you're just eating oh. broth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they were in obviously some Meemaw's crock pot at the gas station <laughs> for a very <laughs> long time. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. a very long time. And yeah. I don't even know. I make them all the time, and I honestly don't know how to keep them. Do you keep them in the fridge? Do you keep them on the stove? Do you have to keep them warm? I just leave them out, and when they mold, I throw them away. You have leftover peanuts. Like, Sometimes I've never had this issue. I make a shit ton. I make too much. Do you think during the height of Corona, I'm talking about like it is bad, bad people are freaked out. Do you think that those store owners thought anything about the peanuts that they were (laughs) selling? Like, do you think they thought like maybe I shouldn't sell or is it business as usual? Like no way, right? They they just left them out. I there. know that Seven Eleven near me like opened up the roller grill real quick. Like they they had plexiglass over the roller grill for like five minutes, and then it was back to here's the tongs. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're, yeah, back yeah, to, yeah, we're back to tongs now. And this morning, I saw a lady use her fingers. 
<laughs> the one by me, the roller grill is like it's in. Wouldn't it's that be hot. Well, I it's along the frontage of the line, so literally everybody who comes in walks by yes. the roller grill and stands by. Like I would never eat anything off that fucking. Now thing. you're on. right. It has the most traffic. Oh god my god! Damn. Just based on science, I think it, there's less germ transfer if you just take it off the rollers with your fingers. Think about it, because instead of touching those tongs that everybody else touched, you're transferring germs more. Than just picking the hot dog off the roller. Never had tongs. <laughs> you know, it's uh, I hate actually to agree with you, but when you do it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, anyway, what's uh, what do we uh, got? What else we got? Science of shower farts. Yeah, somebody sent me a video and I can't find it now, but somebody told me there's actual science to why your farts smell worse out of the bathtub and in the shower. And for years we talked about this, and this is why they sent it to me. I for years would talk about. When I was a kid, and even now, if I take a tub bath, it doesn't. I don't take baths very often. I take showers because I'm a man. <laughs> but if I do take a bath, like to soak my bath or something, if you fart, my theory has always been that your fart travels through the water, water gathering other smells in the water. So when it does finally burst out of the water, when you get that essence, it is just nothing but pure, unadulterated stank. So, so I would think the opposite. I would think it would have the bong effect. And it would like filter water it filter yeah, your yeah, fart, yeah. And but it's leave. worse coming out of the. T- if huh. you're sitting there, and if you can, if you can sit back, and you got to sit like you got to close the the very very back of your ass, and you got to open your tank. Right? <laughs> How do you do that? I'm doing it right now. I'm doing. It. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Look, look at my face. Look at my face. Sam, look at me. I'm doing it right now. I've got <laughs> no. I've got an up taint and a Don't down do butt, and if I farted right now, I can't. But if I if I brewed one up right now and it came out, it would go You're and then it shit w- No, I'm not I'm not pushing. And it would just dance on my balls and then it would come straight up and then it would go and then it goes into my nose and I'm like, "Oh, way worse." <laughs> Why is it worse? I think it's the humidity, right? Oh, that's good. The water part- particles and maybe trapping ooh. the smell. If it goes through your clothes, it's getting filtered through the the you know. Um, I don't have clothes in the bathtub. No, oh, you no, mean no. I mean okay. so so then if in the bathtub oh. it's pure, like it goes straight from your butt to your nose, <laughs> no and filter. you're sitting and you're nude. But so. have you never have you farted outside of the shower nude? Mm-hmm. Not as, Not bad. as bad. Not as so bad. That, Debunks that theory. Also, you're maybe like, think about it. You're in the tub, curtains closed. That's a really tight yeah, space. Yeah. So you're getting more. I got curtains open. Even in the bathroom of it all. You just in the bathroom is the smallest space in your house. Okay. It's the highest concentration of uh, shit particles. Something. <laughs> there's a and reason. the heat, maybe the fart, it gets like uh, pushed down because the it ri- like it can't rise higher than the hot air of the bath. I don't know. What was the science behind it? I didn't watch it. Oh, I can't find okay. the video. <laughs> oh, okay. I went to find it. I can't find it. But we'll cover it again. We'll do a follow-up at a, in a, another show. I'm pretty sure Mr. Wizard covers this. <laughs> <laughs> He's such an asshole, too. He's it's so my mean, favorite. It's a great Mr. Video. Wizard is a dick to kids on YouTube it's if you ever have a minute. Yeah, yeah. you got to find it. You th- there's no new kid science shows, Yeah, right? Bill Nye. There's no, a lady on Netflix, and she got she just got canceled. It sucks. Not canceled like because she said the n word. Canceled. Just the show got canceled. Yeah, which sucks because Maisie and I really liked it. It's this uh, young, hip, like pregnant science teacher who started her own show, and it was on Netflix, and then it went away. They did like one season, and it was really good, but they did like crazy experiments. But I was right, and Tom was a little right. It says uh, you're naked, so there's no fiber layers to filter the stink. The heat and humidity of the shower causes the fart to increase in potency. Ooh. There's also differently moving air currents from inside and outside the shower, intermingling with the ghosts of the food you ate to create an odor monster. <laughs> oh no, that's really <laughs> well done. Whoever wrote that. All right, well there you go. We solved the uh, problem. All right, what's next? Uh, Maisie's ukulele performance. It was terrible. Um, <laughs> Twelve ukuleles lined up with six-year-olds playing them is the worst sound <laughs> audible that you could ever hear. Uh, I'll put some pictures up later. It, now, was it cute? Yeah, it was super cute. Are they actually playing notes? Yeah, they, with their they're fingers? doing chords. Not yeah, the yeah, right chords. ones. Oh, okay. So they, are they just strumming the no, ukulele? They're, they're okay, doing they're the right the chords. chords. Yeah. But it's horrible. It's, it's oh, okay. yeah, I mean, I mean, they're little fingers out of tune. You know, ukuleles playing at different times. Probably. Ye- thank you. Playing at different times. What did they play? They played uh, lime and the coconut. Oh. They played um, uh, green cats eat ants. Green cats eat ants. What they the played hell that. Is that? It's the four strings on a ukulele, <laughs> and they just made up a song uh, okay. about it because it's G. 
uh, green, just G, C, E. Why a, a ukulele of all the instruments? Tiny guitar. Yeah, oh, okay. it's cute. Yeah, four strings versus six. It just seems hard. No, um, easy. No, they easy. tried her on the upright bass, and she doesn't have the finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah for we it. got her. Yeah, is it through the school or yeah. through like private ukulele it, school? I wish it was through private ukulele school. Um, no, it's actually with her music teacher who does it for free, and it's just a club that you do early in the mornings. And Maisie wanted to sign up, so we took her to ukulele class, our club, and they performed last night at a uh, parents' event. They did a couple songs. And uh, it was awesome, but I I did something that I haven't done before, and I wrote the music teacher, and I just basically told her, you're like, hey, because it was really rough. Her computer fell off the stand and broke. The kids were paying <laughs> the attention. Teacher. Yeah, she's up there working her ass off. So as I was sitting there, I found her email as I was watching, and I wrote her, and I said, hey, thank you for this. It was a highlight of my day. It was really good seeing my daughter up there, and I appreciate all the time and effort you put into this because Maisie really enjoys it. She loves it. Again, she's like, thank you, thank me with money. No, <laughs> she, <laughs> she probably thinks email. that, but I don't have any to give her. But Hey, uh, did you pay your garbage men? Not yet. Oh. Um, it's on uh, the list. Oh, the <laughs> list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the list. Where's this list located? Uh, I, uh, it's know. in my head. <laughs> yeah. and, oh, uh, it's gone. Oh, first, yeah. I gotta <laughs> get day. money out. Uh, who cares around cash all the time? Uh, anyway. No, Apparently, I'm... Ross. He walks up to the wall. <laughs> <Walgreens. laughs> yeah. Uh, if I'm a kid's ukulele teacher, will they cost like 15 bucks? The ukulele? Yeah. Uh, a little more than that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I was going to have them all smashed at the end of the show. But, uh, <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> they're actually <laughs> legit, like. Kula, like Hawaiian made. You had to get them off of Amazon. Yeah, like thirty five bucks or something like that. I mean, they're it's it's kind of fun. I have my ukulele. I play with her. Instead of smashing them, I prefer the throwing your ukulele up in the air. Uh, I e Nirvana. Yeah, hit bonk in the head. Yeah, let it, hit, it, let it hit the tall one in the head. Yeah. <laughs> Very few of these girls were married to Courtney Love, though. <laughs> That's true. Um, holy moly is up next on the it's list. It's back. Though. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I was watching the NFL draft, and the uh, commercial came up for it. You like the whole thing? I don't know what you guys are talking about. It is a mini golf show oh. competition with Rob Riggle and the professional Joe Testatori. Yeah. Uh, uh, tes I'm messing uh, his name up. Uh, Tescator. Uh, anyway. Joe Tescator. Yeah, I think you're right. He is a he's a professional golf announcer, right? And well, he's a he's professional doing. sports announcer. Okay, I mean, that yeah, guy yeah. can basically call any anything he wants to do. He's really really good. Anyway, it's a great show. Daniel got me into it. I used to make fun of it because it was like a mini golf show. But yeah, my I love sons it. love it, and we watch every episode. Uh, that they came out with and then now it's a new season. There are a couple things I've noticed with the show that I wanted to bring up for the dads. This is just for the dads, not for the kids who are watching. They tailor this show and most of the jokes are perverted for dads. Yeah, and yeah, they yeah. have a very, very high concentration of extremely attractive young co-eds who <laughs> win all these golf matches. <laughs> so my new theory about Holy Moly is it ain't going to be around for too much longer. So get on watching it because they're... No, it's fine. I'm H telling you. Have you ever been mini golfing when it wasn't su suggested by dad? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a dad thing. 100% of the time you go mini golfing, it's because a dad said, hey, let's go mini golfing. Uh, last time I went mini golfing was with... The Ono oh Radio Show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they had a whole tournament oh, wow. at 3 p.m. on a Sunday. It was hot as hell. We all almost died. I love it. The uh, but the show is good and and w so Steph Curry is the executive producer. Like he f helped fund the show, right? It's probably his idea, or maybe the network needed a guy to make it sound like it was his idea he because he's fun. You know, he is fun. So I wouldn't it, say he's the best <gasps> actor, but he's fun. The first episode of this season is going to have the Muppets. Yeah, oh, they're doing yeah, Holy Moly yeah. Muppets. I forgot to tell you that. I think my buddy Dave's working on that. I might you know, he's, watch that one. He works with the Muppets and does a lot of their stuff. Yeah, yeah. I should reach out to him and see maybe if we can interview. You know what? I'm putting that out in the universe, too. I'm going to reach out to my buddy and see if he's doing this Muppet project. Because if he is, we might be able to get to talk to somebody from that. Steph Curry's labeled on the cast list as a resident golf pro. <laughs> he yeah, loves well, they, golf. He loves golf. They, That's no, no. There's a whole joke of like you know they use him and like he's making fun of himself and the show and like the whole thing. But I always wondered like is he like did he have anything to do with why it's on the air? Like did he put his own money into it or is it all? Just like they hired him. You know, I never believe any of that. I don't believe that anybody puts their own money for in for anything. Uh. I mean, he could be part owner of the whole concept and like go, went to, is What's it ABC? It it's, on ABC. Yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a big network show. It's a Disney show. It's also, theoretically, that's why the Muppets are on there, right? I mean, Disney, ABC, Muppets, boom. Cheap to produce. Yeah, so he is an executive producer, but. They do it all in one night, too. I've got friends that I know that have been out there to work on it and they do it like at 3 a.m. And then they'll do like 
And they um, set up a special decor? Is that what's happening? Yeah, okay. like crazy holes with like obstacle It's kind of like Wipeout for yeah. mini golf. It's gotcha. like uh, Ninja Warrior, but goofy. Okay. They, and, but they brought back the turd water that we all like. But it's, it's good. Yeah, I think it's fun. I mean, if you like something that can be family friendly, that can be on the background. It's a good show. Um, let's end with the homeless giant that I saw. Um, so I'm at my ho, 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 homeless, homeless giant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at my local. <laughs> what is his sidekick called? Sock? Uh, green, greenie? It's Sprout. But, sprout. It, but what should he be? Okay. Sock. I was gonna say, what's his name? Sock or Can? Yeah, work on that. I'm on <laughs> so I I never pay attention to my surroundings. Yeah. Like I've said, I'm I'm the easiest. It's a better way to live. I'm the easiest person to kill better by surprise. <laughs> you could kill me easily. I'll never know you're coming um and uh so i'm, I'm at 7-eleven i'm getting my uh, oh. you know white claw and wine and, oh my uh, god and you yelled at ross for going to cbs <laughs> <laughs> and, well, i'm going to 7-eleven you're supposed to buy you're supposed booze. to go to abc and uh so anyway i i'm standing in line and then all of a sudden i'm like oh shit the guy in front of me <laughs> is a legitimate giant and i how tall Above seven foot. Okay. Um, like I'm, and now he could have been like six eleven or whatever, but I can't tell. But he's he uh, suffers from the affliction that giants suffer from, which is the you start getting hunchy and oh, never get hunchy. And uh, you know what I'm saying? You start getting bent over, like the guy yeah. from uh, the movie or whatever that famous actor that played yeah, the, the guy giant. from the movie. Yeah, you know the guy Are that you played about re- uh, Big Fish. Yeah, Big Fish, the giant. Nobody the, knows that guy's name, <laughs> or was it George Marison? The yeah. basketball player, yeah. Yeah. like it was that dude. You know, like he he's he got gigantism. Something he's got something. The guy from the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so this guy had something. He was a legitimate giant. Like I was like, oh my god, like you know, uh, bigger than you've ever seen a human. Uh, that that kind of okay. giant. And he's paying like for his like tall boy with change. Oh, the irony. And uh, so <laughs> uh, so he's paying with change. And then oh, as I start boy. studying the giant, I'm like, this guy is a homeless giant too, because he had oh, all oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, he had all the trappings of a giant of a yeah. homeless person. Can't trap a giant. Where like he he was dressed like you could like his clothes. He like, had like brown pants that had like fraying on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He had like a tunic uh, top. And, and he had le- leather bracers. And uh, so, and he had like, he, he all his belongings in a Winn-Dixie bag. Yeah. Like, whereas like, there was a, a smattering of like. Some oh, it sounds sur- like he just got out of jail. Yeah, so, something like that. Giant and I, jail. <laughs> and then I was like, never see a homeless giant no. that often. Like, you ne- or a little person giant. A beanstalk or can a, be a, a homeless person, person, person I mean, a, little, a homeless little person. Yeah, you never see a homeless little person. <laughs> or a giant. It's I a, bet a homeless little person gets eaten. And then it got me thinking where I listened to uh, um, Lizzo on oh, her last wow. okay with she was uh, on <laughs> Saturday Night Live. I and Lizzo do yeah, a yeah. lot. Uh, oh, oh, this is how my brain works. And on on when she hosted a Saturday Night Live, which is always impressive to me when you're the host and the musical yeah. guest, like uh, like you got it all if you could do both like that. Anyway, you got, makes you got a, a thing for Lizzo. Makes for a long you night. You and Tommy, huh? She, uh, I think, at the end of her like um, uh, like opening monologue, she was like, you know, I I can't. I, uh, at one point in time, I was sleeping in my car, and now I'm hosting Saturday Night Live or something like that. And so I started thinking because you hear every once in a while people talk about like, oh, I, you know, I had one time I was sleeping in my car. Now I'm here. Yeah. Akeem and, Woods. And yeah, <laughs> Akeem yeah. Woods. Yeah. But I'm always questioning whether they like, how, why were you sleeping in your car? And did you have to a hundred percent? Right. Or was it like or is a, that the story you're telling now? Because is that what you mean? Or was it like a weekend where you may like you were on the borderline homeless and then the, you slept in your car for a weekend and then you then you went back to your buddy's house? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you're embellishing a bit to make it more dramatic. Yeah, I, I think feel yeah. I, I feel like you have to be homeless for at least six months to claim you can't you have you're a homeless. Three. Have a three. Three is a long ass time. You had a week on the street. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think she I could She says she did, she lived in her 1999 Subaru for six months. Oh, oh she made it. six months. Wow, oh, and it's a Subaru. That's double point. <laughs> yeah. Also, when was this? 2004? Because you had a new Subaru. <laughs> that's like, that's pretty. I was about to say, a car is a home. <laughs> yeah, that's like a, if you're, that's a leg up. Dude, yeah, that's yeah. a good brand. Have you seen the warranties on Subaru? <laughs> yeah, Better than my house. I just sleeping in your car not necessarily puts you in the category of homeless in my mind. That's all I'm saying. 
Uh, that is uh, like being well, truly Lee homeless. Told us he was homeless. The what? Remember, Lee said he was. Yeah, homeless. Well, but I question that too. Spent one night in front of a club, and then somebody's like, "Yeah, you can crash on my house." <laughs> yeah, 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 and that doesn't, like, count. Ah, doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you have to be legitimately homeless for you to claim homelessness. That's now, what I'm about saying. there? There's a guy that me and Maisie and Andrea always pass, and he's always under this overpass. I forget. Oh, one. that guy's homeless. Yeah, if, if he is oh, Lizzo yeah. one yeah, day, and he's always reading books, and he seems like a nice guy, but he's always there, and somebody's always bringing him stuff because. He's always got new stuff. And I'm like, well, is that guy now living? Is that under past his home now? It's like, is, you're talking about like Primrose in 408. Yeah. That guy, yeah. he is there 24-7, 24/7. 365, yeah. and he has been for years. I wish him Merry Christmas. I see I him. every. He walks up to the gas station every once in a while and gets his supplies or yeah. whatever, right back to the fucking underpass. And he just stays there, and he's always reading. He, and- um, at one point, he had a mattress. And like uh, a, a, like a little bric-a-brac shelf and stuff, oh, and wow. like and then the county came through and fucking pressure washed that shit oh, away. No. And now he's down. He's down to like just I'm the stuff. Pressure he... wash your shelf away, just so you know, and it's gonna feel good. <laughs> that's good. me and Daniel's dream. <laughs> you, you go there, you work for the county. That's a, that's one notch less than a firefighter. But yeah. you go and you start pressure washing a homeless bric-a-brac. Yeah, you tear up. down the homeless camp, <laughs> dude. I saw it the day. <clears throat> Do you remember when there was a whole like homeless city behind the Marita Bread Factory? Oh, boy, do I. I. I saw the day they bulldozed that into oh. a giant ball on the side of oh. I-4, and it was amazing. It was oh, fascinating. Wow. It was a ball because a lot of aluminum foil. <laughs> no, it was like all tents and stuff, and they just they literally bulldozed into a giant like ball <laughs> on the side of I-4. You know the, bulldo- <laughs> the bulldoze driver? Uh, he's so fun. <laughs> he He's driving that, and he's like, oh, God, it sticks like shit. It sticks like shit. I think <laughs> I know, he definitely deserved some shit. <laughs> like he's like, oh god, oh, fuck, he's gonna be hot to eat my wings after this. <laughs> he's like driving. It. All right, let's get out of here, yeah, Ross. Uh, Tots with Ross. Uh, where can people find it? Uh, you go to your favorite podcast app, for example, Spotify. We're on Spotify, like Dan mentioned today. Uh, look for look for the Orlando Talk Show with Ross McCoy. Uh, you can find me at the Bull and Bush on Wednesday nights at nine p.m. Find me telling kids what they're doing wrong at stand up. Uh, this week it was. <laughs> Telling the audience to go fuck themselves. Yeah, uh, <laughs> right. yeah I wanted we... to know who that was. <laughs> oh, uh, d- uh, who did it? Yeah, yeah. Um, Kevin Dean was the first guy, and it was it seemed like a genuine mistake. He uh, he, he was like ah shit right afterwards. Um, a couple other guys, and then there's this kid named Emery Finn that I was saying great uh, we, name. I was saying we're not calling this the Emery Finn rule because I knew it was gonna uh, make him lose his mind, and he almost had a stroke. Not trying to not tell the audience to go fuck himself. It's Good such though. a knee jerk reaction <laughs> with this kid. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, and then Saturday, first third Saturday every month is a showcase. Uh, nobody will tell you to go fuck yourself at the Shit Sandwich Comedy Showcase at the Bull and Bush. There you go. And I just got an email today. Thank you very much for everybody who switched over to Australian Ross on Ways. I really appreciate it. Yeah, Sam's all over that. We've been talking <laughs> yeah. about that. Um, Sam, uh, what's going on with Semantics? Semantics, we have a new episode out this Sunday with our friend Derek. Um, oh, that guy's got a skull in his fucking fishbowl. <laughs> Not that Derek. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Derek. Yeah, yeah. I think these people are. He names said, "Don't enough. talk about it." <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Everyone always gets them confused because their initials are the same too. Beards, hats. Um, yeah, and just uh, if you want to sign up for my Patreon, patreoncom slash semantics Do it. She's providing a lot of like free content that you know is. You it. can hear all about Jared Leto. Yeah. Well, that. that's a different. <laughs> let's talk about that for a second. That's like a different type of show that you do that isn't. I do necess- like actual research. Yeah. There's I do the most work for the free show. Yeah. So check that out. And throw <laughs> yeah. her a couple. Dollars for it and help her out a little bit because she's growing her brand as well. I don't know. I heard her TikTok's the place to be. <laughs> <laughs> don't make money on yeah. that either. It's it's not, not, yeah. I'll tell you, it's yeah, not, not, not the it. place to be. But you know. um, so we're coming out with a number, another collaboration. A number? Beer. What's a number? <laughs> <laughs> that oh, horrible. Buddy. I am well, the first ever Tom and Dan number. <laughs> <laughs> it's a half butt plug, half dildo. We call it a number. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that sound horrible? A number. What did it just end? It's like a tiny, <laughs> like a tiny little fuck. Toy, a number. Uh, a red, that was a perfect end. I, I felt like it was time to end. I was like, I should end. And then you I'm do like, this no, all the time. No, I'm gonna I say mean, something. Guys, guys, <laughs> gotta have the last word. I'll tell you about the number. <laughs> I feel like oh, it's a shoe dude. toy for people with no teeth. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it, sounds like, it sounds like the Kong for your butthole. <laughs> right? Number. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, another collaboration beer. By the way, that is uh, that is the homeless giant's friend, the number. <laughs> <laughs> number. With Hourglass Brewing. And oh, my God. Duval County kidnapped child. <laughs> You know, when I was a kid, we called. Uh, oh man, I shouldn't say that joke. But there was Andrea's a, bullying you. She said Tom's brain is mush. No, no it, my brain's mush. Um, that, my therapist is a 
leaving. It's going to be called Just Pack It Up and Hitting the Road. <laughs> Dad Jokes, um, and it's coming out Father's Day weekend on Saturday at Hourglass Brewing. So uh, stay tuned for that. We'll uh, we'll let you guys know. I'm stoked detail. we're doing a beer again. Man. I know. I know. It's going to be awesome. And Danger Brain is doing all the uh, art, so I can't wait to see what uh, they come up with. This is always good. Indeed. Um, so, uh, all right. We're going to uh, leave now. <laughs> all right. Well, this, this is so awkward. This is the number. <laughs> Signing off. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. I, I can't publish that. It's uh, mediocre. <laughs> <laughs>